He doesn't like me, and I don't like him. Us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. You just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. It's happening. Listen, before this episode starts, we just thought we'd make a little clip to let you know that anyone who doesn't know, we now have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. And there's like a few different tiers on there. And we can go and get where you can sign up to us. And it helps us make this podcast. Helps us make it, helps yeah, us pay for the podcast. Helps us make it better. Helps us improve and put more content out. We've got big plans for things we want to do. Haven't we? Since. <laughs> yes, we have. We've got big plans. <laughs> we have got big yes, plans. Yes, Rob. Yes. <laughs> no, we have got big plans. And without without anyone signing up to the Patreon, this will die. Yeah. This um, will go away eventually because if we can't make it work financially... We can't keep doing it, can we? No, we can't just keep throwing fucking... No, and we've got Aftermill to buy, and that fucking costs We've got above. kids to pay for, yeah. and listen, we I'll be honest, keep the... if, I can't, if I can't provide, I'll leave. Yeah. So... And we already know... You don't want to make an orphan. We already know how this... How it's going, don't we? <laughs> so we needed to be giving us something back. Yeah, please. Because we're bleeding here. Yeah. My kids are begging. My kids yeah. begging. So sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. That's it. There's three different tiers, loads of different prices. Pick out. one. Pick one, help Sign us. Up. You won't even notice it going out your bank. It's a couple of no. quid. Less than a Tesco meal deal. Oh, well. <laughs> maybe more than a Tesco meal deal. You'd buy a starving just... man a meal deal, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I'm That's starving. That's what we are. Look at me. Look at him. I'm do you think star- that? Do you think this? Help! <laughs> Another one. Another one. Yeah, let's go. Hello. What's happening? Hey, yeah. Talking about socks. Yeah. That's good where it is. Uh, no, it needs to be a bit close to your mouth, please. There you go. That's it. Hello. Yeah, you, you chat. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Right. You're yeah, quite sure. racy anyway, aren't you? I think you'll, you'll be alright. Yeah, you've always got a deep voice in it. Yeah, I have a deep voice. I haven't got a deep laugh. Well, if you haven't put it, put it on. <laughs> <laughs> put it on. <clears throat> um, we've had three weeks off, haven't we? We have. It's it's fucking glorious. Back. You've been all inclusive it up in oh, yeah, been in Lanza Grotti. Yeah. How was it? Lovely. Yeah. We'll do all that on the Patreon. All right, sounds fuck it then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so episode fifty, this isn't it? Is it the big five? This is going to be the five O. I think it might be forty nine because we missed one. Oh, oh well, what about if we hold it back then? <laughs> yeah, come on then. This is episode fifty. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting cultured now. We've got artists on. Yeah, yeah. fuck comics. <laughs> we're only going to have artists now. We're going bougie. Yeah. Um, First non-comic guest, John. Am I? Yeah. Is he? What's pressure that? Yeah. Well, it depends if we count Chris Keogh as a comic or not. Which yeah, he is. I was going to say that, yeah. He is a comic, but we we spent two hours just asking him questions about... He's a barrister, as I well. mean, we had Kyle Legacy so on we were... really <laughs> comic show. <laughs> 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 I was just going through my head there going, which is the best guest to just say that just, about? Yeah, just and I thought, I'll go Legacy. Definitely Legacy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no. <laughs> How are you, John? I'm good. Very good. We've never met before, have we? Oh, I no. feel like I know you all. Do you, yeah? <laughs> yeah, just from, yeah? Just from online. I feel yeah, like yeah. What, a bit of a, I know you a little bit as well. It's getting weird. You're getting quite <laughs> involved. <laughs> just kiss each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want a free painting. Not, yeah. <laughs> just a print, John, a print. Well, we were <laughs> talking about my style, weren't we, off pod? Because yeah. it was quite interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't that interesting, but it was, you know what I mean? Basically, so I was saying to John about my styles that I can't afford and I haven't got the time or energy to look like like him. Right. Or like Smith and look clean and everything looking good. Yeah. So I've lent into looking like a scruff. But I'm always, I'm halfway between looking like a scruff and looking like, a, so I'm in this this difficult little halfway house of like, he's not like a full on scruff. Or between me and like, but like, he, yeah, like it's like, he's just in this weird, what is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> Walk and tour of the Vatican is what I describe yeah. it look as. Walk and tour of the Forty-four Vatican. year old man on a walk and tour of the Vatican. Forty-four? Yeah, I'm forty-four, yeah. I'm trying to be trendy at forty-four. No, I'm not forty-four, I'm saying. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not, but that's the vibe I give nice, off. Forty four, two kids that I've ignored on the walk and tour. Yeah. Fat wife fucking flanning herself with a floral dress and everything. And I'm there just putting my headphones in and fucking off with a tour guy. Fucking hell. So that's me. Right. Anyway, how have you been, Dean? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. 
Yeah. The Atric Ball. Just, just, oh, yeah, is this my third one? It's your first one. Oh, oh, yeah. First time I had you on in ages because you uh, missed the Monday night now, and that's one you call I it. I missed the Monday night, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Good old open mic nights at Hot Water. You've been to one of them ones? Of course, yeah. Not the open mic ones, no. Yeah, his Monday night ones are good to go yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit chaotic sometimes. Sometimes you see some absolute see some nightmares shit. on there, like. But that's sometimes that's better. That they're the ones that you remember. Like they're the only ones that like all the comedians come yeah. in to watch. Yeah, you know, right. come come in and watch this. Lad. Yeah, I've not look, been yeah. to one yet because we always do this, and then I'm yeah. fucking off to the yeah. boozer. On there, I didn't realise how hard comedy <coughs> was until I went to, to the miles I. Uh, all the nights that you do. Oh yeah, live People show available up. on our Patreon. Uh, and when do you get up and do that one minute? <laughs> Whoa! So some people do, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. die. Yeah. 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 So Sit imagine that for five minutes though. Oh, that's, like, that's what, what you get sometimes on the Mondays. The, the whole comedy thing even more when I sit because. My balls were twisting up. <laughs> and I was old enough to be bare shoulder. Like, oh, stop it. Obviously, we love that, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it, death. Especially someone you know. Oh, like someone you can see trying that on. <laughs> My problem when I go to your nights, like I've been to a couple of mild, high live ones. I just want to heckle. Yeah, yeah. I'd like, it's the same on Monday nights. You, you come up on one, didn't you? Then a little slut drop and that nearly yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because Callum was being a shit house. That's why. Yeah. But yeah, like when I do, I just want to heckle me. I just I, like I, it's like how can you know that's the worst thing mm, you can do? Yeah, <laughs> but like yeah. you're sitting there thinking I just want to I want to shout at him. Yeah, so desperately. But the Mondays uh, you get some like rough ones. We had some some fella like uh, he was an older guy. I think it was the first time doing stand up. He was going all right, and then like halfway through his five minutes, he started going. What's all this about these genders and that now? <laughs> and you felt the whole audience go, don't, mate. And he's going, there's none binary. And I was like, oh, no. So then he come off, I was like, hey, maybe don't do that. And he was like, oh, but I thought it was funny. I was like, yeah, did you tell your mates that in the pub? And they were laughing. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, don't do that here. Unless you I was Dave like, there's, there's yeah, like, yeah. well, even Dave Chappelle and that got fucking loads of shit for it. I was yeah. like, don't do it first time ever. Just go, what the fuck's all these genders about? I, I, and the whole room I, I, I have to respect the man. <laughs> <laughs> As a man that died for 18 months yeah. straight. There's no, there's, I, I respect... Sometimes there's just no joke there. Right. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. just, do, do you think someone's going to laugh at like you going, what's all this about men being women? And then when right. no one laughs, they go, Oh God! Uh, you know, I like, just start flapping, and then you sat at the back going, "Oh shit!" <laughs> it is. It is funny when you see them saying stuff, and you know, you said that to your mate. Yeah, definitely. And you think that's going to get a laugh, yeah. and you haven't realised that this is a completely different. It made context. like your fifty-year-old mates laugh yeah. at the pub because they were probably all like, "Yeah, bloody genders, yeah. mad!" And then he comes and does it. In so, front how of many an acts do you have on on average on that night? Because twelve spots, wow. right? And then an opener. And so. do you? Uh, is it walk-ups? Yeah. Right, every week. and you always get the twelve, do you? One week we had twenty-five people turn up, and it was it was the most ruthless I've ever felt because obviously we oh, can't put twenty-five yeah. on. So I was like, "Who's local?" And they were like, "Oh, I'm from Liverpool." I Fuck was like, "Get then. out, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. cutting them all down." But the the atmosphere in the green room was awful because you know it's all like new comedians. Twenty-five, you got to sit backstage. Yeah, it was chaos. Well, I sent loads home though, but I, like, <laughs> there was no music That's, on. It is horrible going to when I used to. Talk. Twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to cut it down to twelve, which is more Fucking than hell. half. I was like, "Get oh, out, go on." You were oh, last oh week. Oh my Fuck god, off. I get I feel a bit. Yeah. Ugh. But, but there was no music 25 on. Twenty-five freaks. Yeah. Just stood that number. <laughs> there was no music on in the green room, so the, the atmosphere was awful. And then I like made a joke, and no one laughed. And I went, "Oh, I'm bombing in the green room." Here. <laughs> And I was just going to, I was like, this isn't my fault. This, I, I don't know what to do. We can't have 25 people on when there's only 30 When did, they turn, did they all turn up? Like six o'clock, ready to go as well. Yeah, some people get there at like five o'clock and wait outside. And I turn up and go, there's too many here. Some of you just have to fuck off. <laughs> Who was yeah. here first? So now I'll just give the list to Big John. And I go, as soon as I right, hit 12, lad, okay, tell yeah. everyone to go home. Like, <laughs> right. Because it just, it just puts a, a weird vibe at the start of the show. You know, you're you trying to have a try nice and night. Do some sort of booking thing. No, because the whole the whole Vibe point of it is like the yeah. Sundays are booked and mm. they're booked up for like a year or so. So right. I want I want people to be able to just drop in and like especially if I any suppose, pro acts want to come and do stuff. I suppose then. if you didn't fill it, there's always enough local acts who might just jump on and do a full. But even if I didn't fill it, it's only going to be like eight people turning up. Right. There's never going to be a night when there's three people. So what do you do to get like a few few turn up? Because I've turned up before and you've gone. Oh, I, I want to say no, but I can't. 
I just, well, I just, throw, I just you like. Should be allowed to say no to him. Well, I tell the audience. Like, no, you can't say. Turn no. up when it the depends. night's finished. They go and put that audience back in that room, Dean. <laughs> it depends who shows up because if it's a pro who I know is going to do well, I'd rather yeah. the audience have right. a good yeah. act on. Um, but sometimes I just blag it. I go, oh, there's five acts in this section, and I throw like another one on. Right, the yeah, 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 yeah. And No, no. I try and balance yeah. it so like someone who's on last will be decent. So they sort of forget if there was like three yeah. people absolutely dying on their ass before it as well. But it's a fun night, man. It's a good hang. Like it's 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 good. But yeah, it's chaos I hate, sometimes. I hate, I hate walking to the green room. Right. Like when you walk to the green because I don't know you got this as an artist. Do you ever meet other should we, do, do you ever meet other artists sort of thing? Like when when's the when will you meet or your peers sort of thing? If you even cast them as your peers. I'm at a I'm, I feel like I'm like a proper outcast. I feel like I'm on my own in the art right. world. I, 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 I don't like. I've got a, one of my mates, Danny. He's one of the like my favorite artists, living artists. Anyway, yeah. um, aside from that, I tend to, I talk to a couple on social media, but that's people you've reached out to or anything. Like we just become mates over socials. That's it. And then face to face, I don't ever ever speak to another artist. I don't remember the last time I ever have. Because I like. Cause <clears throat> well, obviously, were you coming on? Because I was thinking, like, I wonder how our, how the industry differs. But that's that's a mad thing. Like, imagine like. Trying to do something and going, I don't know anyone else who's done this before. I feel like it can be quite a lonely. I say lonely. I love being on my own. Yeah. Like I'm, like, I always say I'm a little nomad. I like my own yeah. space. So in my studio on my own, I could be there for days on end. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah, in the art world, like I, I, I would you ever do like a collab with another artist? Can you do that? Yeah. So you can have exhibition wise. So I've had three solo exhibitions now. Mm. I've been involved in what you call an open exhibition. Yeah. Where it's you and, like, say, 50 other artists, but you have to pay to go in open exhibitions. I was going to say, is there anything like that as you're coming up sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. so that's what I first do. I've done that a few times at first, yeah. but it's and a you meet, Do you not meet each other and that then, or just go paint your paintings up and just, that's it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like a green room of artists. I'd love to see what a green room of artists is uh, like. You nah, literally, you at don't. the open exhibitions, you're all just walking around. You don't really know... Who, Who's, what artist yeah. is what? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I don't like open exhibitions because what they tend to do is they'll judge your work and then they'll give prizes and stuff, and it's, right. it's proper corrupt. And yeah. I'm like, who are you to tell that one that his painting is that better one. than that one? Because that's yeah. what I love about art. Yeah, it can so, be perceived completely different by everybody. Yeah. So what's because I, I remember when I, my, my cousin's an artist sort of thing, and she she did a painting for Bow as well. Oh no, we remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's never done a painting for us, yeah. (laughs) No, she hasn't. But um, she went to this art college thing, and I went to see her exhibit and all the exhibitions that was years ago. And I think there was one exhibition where someone just put train tickets in like a food bag and pinned it to the wall. Yeah, pisses me off. And I was like, I love all that. This is. I was like, I think I'm remembering this right, but I was like, this doesn't seem like fair (laughs) that she's done that, which is pretty (laughs) impressive. Whatever she'd done. And then I was walking around seeing someone with fucking wig into fucking crew yeah. <laughs> pinned in there thing. And, yeah. all right, what's this one about? I love all that, mate. All yeah, that. I think I'd be like, I'll have that one then. Because sort of <laughs> like, I just like the, I, I think, I think, you know why? I think it resonates with me because my whole school life was right. I'm just going to bullshit. Mm. <laughs> like, and I'll be sound because I'm dead good to talk. I'll just bullshit. And then I like the idea that like, someone's gone. Yeah, here's the idea behind Here's the thought process. I'm thinking, so they, you're bullshitting here, yeah, but I, I like that. It. Like Andy Warhol, is he because he, he he did a few things like that, didn't he? I don't really, he I, had a few bits. I would say, like, say, she had the unmade bed, and then she went into like she but, does um, she, uh, thingies now, doesn't she? Or oh, she does loads of um, what are they called? Was, no, what like the lights, sort of the, the um, she's got one in the Metropolitan. I don't know that many artists either, by the way. Like, but like, I think, if, artists, I yeah, think yeah, you can get away with the sandwich bag with train tickets in as yeah. long as you put next to it a really good drawer. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, they know how to do it, yeah. and then they've yeah. done this. Yeah. But if that's all you've ever done, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah. If you get a real good drawer and put it next to it, I go, that's sound, that. That's a really like good drawer. Like Chappelle doing jokes yeah. after 15 years. Yeah, 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 and you go, yeah, yeah. Like, I suppose someone on a Monday night coming up to do yeah. it the first Yeah, it's like, it's like, right, that's what they can. Yeah, they can yeah. draw really yeah. well. Right, I'll accept the sandwich bag now. But if they've not done that, then I'm thinking, no, you've yeah. you've got to prove yourself first and then go into yeah. the weird shit. And Master the rules, then break no, them. No, I, I don't mind that. Like, yeah, once you're in there, then just bring yeah. out some crazy shit. Yeah. All right with that. But I think a lot of it's because of the people who go and look at the art as well, though, isn't it? 
There's like there's that thing I always bring it up when people talk about like this type of art with the fellas' glasses in the art studio. Oh, and you he see left that? them on the floor back. Yeah, I don't know if he yeah. dropped them or yeah. left them on purpose. Right. And the next thing, there's a crowd of people stood around and taking pictures, going, "Wow, what's this mean?" And it's like some fucking nobody's <laughs> pushing past everyone, going, "Where's my glasses?" There, picking them up but and that, leaving. Right. And everyone's watching it, going, "Wow, what a what a masterpiece that is!" Yeah. Like, but that's what I love because that that's art. That, that's that's the subjectivity. Yeah, all, like, I know. Sort of thing. That's you know, it's, 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 it's the same with literature. Sort of thing. They, they say once an author is what what. Once an author has written something, it no longer belongs to them. Mm. It's n- it's now belongs to the audience, and however they want to, however they want to interpret it, that is on them. Yeah. So right. you can't go, or you you've like, if you're putting out a piece of literature, you can't go, oh, well, you've mis misread that, and what I what I meant to the sub the subject of what I'm trying to talk about, you completely got wrong. It's like no, it doesn't belong to you. That's anymore. how I see it. That's yeah. how I've seen it. Yeah, so that's yeah. it. So that's what I. That's one of the things I do love about art. So it's like it just it belongs to you. Like the green room at Matlock. It's rammed full of yeah, shit, you yeah. think, and this is art, this? Yeah. You'd think that could be art, you and well, put like that, that in an exposition. Well, do, 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 you, you know, do you know Tracy Emmett's unmade bed, don't you? Sort of thing. I've heard of the unmade bed thing. Yeah, well, I thought that was, I, 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 I loved that, I thought it was brilliant. Mm. Well, do you, reckon that, do you reckon that was her actual idea, or she just ran out of time on the the deadline for the project? Oh, no, of course, like, it's something that good's got to be an actual idea, hasn't it? I don't know, is it good? It's like what? that fellow who just stuck a banana to the wall. Yeah. Do you see that with duct tape? banana and he sold it for like a million pounds or something. Fuck Dude. off. And I'm, looking, I'm like, why didn't I just do that? Yeah. That's going to that's gonna <laughs> be so duct tape is, soon as well. Is, isn't it? <coughs> on, it's just going to be duct tape after a few weeks as well. Yeah. The yeah, banana's yeah, yeah. just going to rot away. And well, then, then that's like, the idea behind the art is in like, it rots. life, this is, is, perishing. Is, life is perishable. And yeah, like, this like, million pound will all, go yeah. like yeah. the banana. We're all, just, we're all just stuck together by duct tape. He did not think that. He's just walking on and talk. What dickhead's going to buy this? Oh, no. See, I truly believe he's done that guy. Yeah, well, like it's 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 all about mental health and how life is perishable, <laughs> and how we're all just sort of stuck together with duct tape, and, that, and that's how we're getting by. And I think that's a brilliant piece of it. Yeah, well, but we'll all rot eventually, no matter yeah, how duct tape. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. And I all how just much would you pay for that? <laughs> oh no, don't I'm never paying for it. Like, In the Tate Gallery, it might still be there. There's a pile of clothes folded up. Yeah. About this, and it's in like a big glass box. Yeah. Like fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Will you try and fold that well though. Yeah. And then you'd be like, yeah, that's this, is this is art. Oh that's art. That yeah. like Have you ever tried to repackage a shirt, job? Yeah. <laughs> and so you can do that perfectly, then that yeah. thing is fucking golden. <laughs> yeah. With all the clips and all the yeah. shit, no one's fucking doing that, are they? <laughs> Can't draw the eyes, never mind, fold a t shirt. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Can, you, can you draw? draw? Could you draw like life things? Because yours is all like a bit sort of like, yeah, colourful and blah 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 blah. What's it you pick? It's metal. What's palette knife? Palette, palette knife. Mainly that's a palette knife. Yeah. But the recent exhibition was all brush work. Yeah. yeah, and that was with it being the female form. I just I didn't feel like massive fan of that one. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one way to see twenty three batties and <laughs> touch me, brother. Touch me, brother. <laughs> oh, well. Why, 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 why I'm, I'm now an artist. <laughs> Get your kids off, girl. <laughs> well, I was joking stick before, we, I've done. before we start. I'd like to talk about it properly. Paul, lo- obviously, Lord, he's a train ticket. Why have I posed naked if you're just going to put wig and wall gates and crew in a bag? <laughs> Listen, this is the ticket you were going to get if you weren't here. Uh, <laughs> get your kids off and get your train yeah. ticket. There you go. <laughs> stick that over your mind. <laughs> <go ahead. laughs> <laughs> but while we were talking, it sorry, that was one that made me laugh. But you, you reached one with all women, and Laurie was in it. Obviously, Paul and Laurie, and Paul posted it saying, "Oh, that good." And the comments Paul got, "Oh, what? wait, you let some artists just fucking see your beards, minge, and all that." Yeah, <laughs> they laughing laugh at me. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah what yeah. do you think happened? Yeah. Yeah. What I, do you think happened?" I wanted to address that, me, because I, I went through some of the comments and I clicked on each Undress each profile. Like. On the <laughs> all these fellas who were commenting, I was like, "That's what you." And I'll twat you, <laughs> and I'll twat you. And I wrote comments out, and I was inboxing them, and ready to inbox them to say, listen, I'm going to come around and just fucking fill you in now. <laughs> Make your face a piece of off. art. <laughs> <laughs> because for me... Mm. Why, why, said, that, why did that offend you, though? Yes. Because someone said to me, oh, but Paul's a comedian. People, He should be allowed to take that. And I was like, it's his fucking wife, for starters. Some of the things were brutal, like horrible. Yes, yeah. like, I didn't see any hard ones. I just saw like, how no, you let someone like, take one of them said, I bet you painted their insides. I was like, fuck, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. <clears throat> I did see that one. Of course. I didn't think <laughs> he it was the one. Too, that your comment? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, why are people so fucking horrible? Yeah. Yeah, 
people online, like none so, of them have just said that's me. Most, most people, people are just people fucking miserable, miserable though, innit? Did like, you take that as an offence on you then, rather than... No, I, I thought I, you were, thought all, you were all called a Paula Cook. And then I just thought, well, you're all thick, aren't you? I like, felt there's nothing sexual going on in that room, really. Mm. No, there was, do you know what? As well, there wasn't, and yeah. I didn't know how I would react on the day because Reflecting. I've seen my missus. That's it for the last sixteen years. Yeah. Well, she's the only woman I've seen apart from on me phone porn. Yeah, that's yeah. It. maybe I'm did just desensitised to it all. <laughs> did you take the photos? No. So what we do? Right, that's fine we, then. We yeah. <laughs> I, that's fine. If no, you didn't do the he photos, you just stood there wanking in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> when we set it up, it was. My mate, Shell, she's had a double mastectomy, hysterectomy, yeah. she had loads of scarring, and it was her who kind of said <laughs> she wants to show the world what her body looks like, yeah. and she's proud of it. At the minute, she's got no nipples, she's got to have two more operations before yeah. she can get them tattoos on, and people look at her because she's got implants and think, oh, you're looking fucking arse you, and judge her because I haven't got, got a things, clue why. Uh, what yeah. she's gone through or yeah. what she's going through. And I said to me, I said, we need to make this a little bit bigger than just one painting. So we yeah. put a post out and mate, we got hundreds of women inboxing to say, can I be part of this project? And you're quite right. a sexy man But as then well. they were like, do we just DM them? And I was like, no. Do we just like, DM them? Don't DM them. Do not yeah. WhatsApp them or anything. <laughs> There's a weird thing though, because like, you've got to go, right, how do I, how do, I do stroke a genius, <laughs> John, to be honest with you? Well, <laughs> and I thought, if any one of them... Was well, he again painting when he gets in yeah. now? If any of them send me a picture, it then become, to, for me, yeah. seedy. So yeah. what we've done is we well, hired... Well, it's when you put in your story, eight and above only. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I, I, got a, I spoke to a photographer from Liverpool, had her own studio, and we hired her for a full day. Mm. Yeah. Um, and what we've done was we arranged 10 of the women to co- have like an hour slot right the way, each through. So they, they were never in the same room together. Right. It was like they'd go in, finish, the next one would come in 10 minutes later. Mm. And it was... Alex Hurst, the photographer, she was yeah. taking all the pictures. I was there, but we said to them, listen, I can face like the other way. Yeah. Or, yeah. Sorry, or I can... Because I wanted, in my head, I wanted to, to make... Like a toddler. ...poses though as well. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to be involved in the shoot. <clears throat> so it was, it was just... And I'll jump back to what I said. I wasn't too sure how am I going to... If I see the, all yeah. these women, am I going to be like, whoa. Yeah. Hands on art, I didn't. The seconds they got in there and the took the clobber off it was just like instantly where head was on and i was like right can you do this pose can you do this pose and it was you don't know what mate it was incredible as yeah. well and I've, i said on one of my posts the other day about it every single one of the women there was like a little moment where you're just seeing them like relax right, and be yeah. like little faces lit up because mm. I don't know if you've ever posed naked for a photo shoot before. I have plenty nice, of times. Nice <laughs> it's it's a fine photo shoot. Have you? Have you? Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Passed out on Benedict, Benedict <laughs> on a fucking sun lounge. Yeah. I can tell you actually about this story then. So I've done man. one right for um, this woman was from Turkey, and it was to do with women over there aren't allowed to see men nude or something mm. like that. Yeah. So she wanted to photograph me with all my artwork behind me. <coughs> So I was like, okay, yep. Yeah. So Jen came along with me. Now Jen had this like little neck scarf thing that she had on, which is quite like nice Weesh, and smooth yeah. and like to touch, you know what I mean? So I had to like knock off and I'm starting and I'm thinking, shit. Give yourself a bit I of a shake. Look tiny. <laughs> yeah. So I'm giving it a wiggle. Because that's Fans. the thing, cause when you saw women, I thought, no men's do not like they got big cocks. Yeah. That's like, well, I, no, had to, I was like, trying to flick it just to add a yeah. little bit of extra weight. But then the photographer, she kneeled down in front of me and these little f- lace Frenchies just popped out of her pants. I was like, mm. Now you go past the point, you're right. And I could feel it. And then he put on the bird walk past. A scarf just brushed me cock. And I just went, boom. And I just got a lob on straight away. And I was just like, oh, right. what you doing? There is that fine line yeah. in it when you're trying to give yourself a yeah. little bit more. Yeah. That's it. But then if you go past it, you go, oh, shit. Is it the same when you try not to get a massage? Just thinking I can't get a lob on you. I'm getting a lot more. Yeah. What did right. you do then? Just stand there, just like I was just. I looked and I was like, it's "It is what I know. What it's yeah. done now." But yeah. then it went, and then I was. What just, did they say? She wasn't. She wasn't asked. She was all right with it. Yeah. What did she? Did she laugh? Did she smile? Did she, she smiled? It's really horny, this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but right. I hope she never watches this. Right. But then I'm sure she. A woman from Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. Well, she she might live in Liverpool now. Oh, but, okay. Uh, but then. Her partner at that time was like, they wanted to take this. I feel like this was just a big setup. This they wanted right. to do this photograph where it looked like I had extra arms around me, almost as if like, you know, like hugging me, like being cradled, sort of thing. Yeah. So I'm stood there, bollocko, 
and I mean completely. And then her husband or partner then takes his top off mm. and comes behind me to be the extra set of arms. Oh, wow. <laughs> he got really hard then. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stood there like this, and this photograph never got used. Yeah. So I feel like oh, it was okay. just, I feel like it was dirty. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. just were like, when was, the, when was this as well? <laughs> this is going a good few years back there. So before it, you, like, you were big echo, and, like, Matt. I had a little fat tits and everything on it. Right. I was big, but, like, just not in... Yeah, not right. Sure, not, yeah. And um, I think the year later, the Echo somehow seen it, because it's got me, I love St. Helens tattoo on my leg. Yeah. And they stuck that. Why have one you got of their that? main posts. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, they stuck that as one of their main posts of, yeah. like, the best thing that happened in 2019... Did you do you love St. Helens as much as this man? <laughs> and I'm there like this, <laughs> and it's that typical pose. But with bollock holes, with tattoo out. That's hilarious. Why have you got that tattoo? So when I worked on the doors, um, he's a lad <coughs> from fucking Wales actually, and he kept calling me a wool because I cut. I lived in Witness at the time. Mm, right. He's going, I bet you wear Mackenzie, don't you? And he's <laughs> like, of me all this stuff. And then I don't know how we got onto the subject of St. Helens. And I just, I went, well, I just love St. Helens because mm. I do. Yeah. And he went, this is stupid. He went, get a day to get a tattoo. It's a big one as well, oh, though, isn't it? It's a big one, yeah. Like, it's he could have got it a bit smaller. You <laughs> can just say no, you know. Like, I'm not very good with saying no to days. Yeah. Right. So where were you from? Liverpool. Right, like, whereabouts? Kirby. Right, okay. And you love St. Helens? Yeah. Why do you love St. Helens? It's just mad, aren't they? Yeah, I'm mad. I lived there. Now like, yeah, remember mad. that advert, <laughs> Mr. Soft, where he's walking down the street, yeah. and he's just everything so soft and. F- I feel like when you're in St. Helens, everybody's just like that, like just dead, just in their own little way. Yeah, yeah. With Two mad plastic. things have happened to me living in St. Helens. One, I was in the Tesco and I bought a sweet potato, and you know the, the loose auntie and the yeah. woman was putting through the till and she was looking for the thing. And she just went. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet potato. And she was like, oh, I thought it was ginger. I was like, fucking hell. And then, what is that? <laughs> and then in the town centre, there's I'll a shop. You, working on a checkout is stressful, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. People, I, <laughs> there's a shop in the town centre just called How Nice Is That? And I was like, isn't that the best name for a shop ever? Just going in, just yeah. going, how nice is that? Uh, yeah. How nice is that? The whole what shop, like, yeah. <laughs> just clothes and shit, man. Right. I don't even know if they're that nice, to be honest. It's, <laughs> but it's a good name for a shop, isn't it? How nice is that? But yeah, well, that's when all my tattoos get done as well in St. Helens, so I've got that little connection. I've right. Got... I thought you were going to say, as dear. Every know? one of my tattoos <laughs> are dear. <laughs> Do you look I, don't even, I don't even like tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I, uh, no, I don't do tattoos no more. Are you fully out now? Yeah, man. You got the game. Been out for a while. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Just well, that, uh, too busy. The original that? plan was to be out when I went to New Zealand because I didn't tattoo over there. Right. I was like trying to just make my way doing something else. Um, when did I, you go to New- Oh, yeah. When was did, that? Two oh, was years ago. Right, two years okay. ago in August. We went for like, and then got back in March 2020. Right, okay. 10 days before the lockdown happened. Right. Um, so then my plan was just to be done with it when, when I went there, like a fresh start, try and do something new. And then when we got home, because we went into lockdown and all that, I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just, where I can, I'll just start yeah. tattooing when I need to. So then done it for like another year or so. And then just dipping in and out of it. And I feel like it's not something that you can like sort of be half involved in. Right. Why, why is, why, why, why can't you just go out oh, just tattoo again? What? Well, because people want you to design stuff. So then when I'm like, I've only got half an hour to so do your design. Right. And they, they're wanting something that's going to be on them forever and I'm like yeah just get this done so Can't I can fuck off just, and go yeah. and do this and like yeah, you gotta so be committed with to a it. tattoo they'll just come in and say what they want and then you design it or do, I thought they'd be like it I depends. want depends yeah so they go I want a fish that says this you have to then go and think of a fish or something or yeah yeah you, you, they'll either bring a picture sometimes people are like I want that exact one yeah, like, yeah. that's sound then isn't already, it though. Yeah. Yeah, my, a, my one just took my back of my legs, just a photo. Yeah, yeah so that's sound then, isn't it? Some, just like what I done with my, most of mine was I'd find an artist that I like and I'd go to them and go, I've got this space, do something, because I like your artwork. So it's kind of like right. collecting paintings off artists yeah. that you like. But like, Have you had anyone ones? tattoo any, like, any of your Paul's art on got them? his whole chest and shoulder. Which my, my, all uh, oh, what's the paint called? Uh, all you need is love one. one yeah, that all one. you need is love across there, but all the... Oh, uh, is that from your paint, is it? Yeah. yeah. And then I've got... There's a couple of people who... I think one of my mates is getting one of my lava beards on the back of his leg. Yeah. And, in fact, the um, Paul off... Oh, no, what's his name? John, the big... The oh, oh, the bouncer. John Skelly, yeah. yeah. I think, Skelly. Is he Shout not, out he's Skelly and OG. Um, win the battle tattoo. The, ta- the lion one? No, the, the brain... 
I think he's got that <laughs> tattoos on him. I'm sure he did it. Oh, yeah, What's I think that? he did. On his forearm, was it? Somewhere, yeah, I think. It, I'm sure, he sent me a picture of it a while back. Yeah, yeah, he has, he has. Yeah, I done the lion one, and then he, he got the other one done so at our shop. At, at when did you start get, getting into art? 27. At tw- age 27? Yeah. Had you always been able to draw? Or like, yeah. And then was never bothered with it or something? In school, I, I, I was good at art, like... As soon as you got to pick options, I fucked off French, fucked off RE, yeah. and just done art for every other. Because you obviously don't s- k- jump out as an artist type the way you look. Do you know what I mean? Like the whole th- an artist to me looks like skinny, fucking like yeah. all like that. Or Somebody like, said disheveled. Artists yeah. look disheveled. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, yeah, like like you well, just, it, it, it's, it's like it's like the same as comedians. Like, there's, there's this idea that's pain behind us all, really. Yeah. And so yeah. a lot of them are doing it for not much money either. Yeah. yeah. So you're struggling out. But the idea general. that comedians couldn't look like a fucking model, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like you that. I think that's, look a comedian, well, yeah, yeah, I think now that's changing a bit. But be. but I think it used to be had to be a big fat bloke who's forty five, didn't it? Peter K. <laughs> 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 right, no, well, fuck off, no, it did. Come on, uh, everyone used to think it had to be Peter K, didn't it? Like a big <laughs> yeah, chubby yeah, yeah. bloke, forty five, yeah. and he's like, we'll accept him. But like, you couldn't yeah. ever imagine like a fucking Love Island are doing stand up. But nowadays, oh, yeah, you'd be yeah. like, oh yeah, it's viable and that. But like, you you say you're a doorman as well. Mm-hmm. See so, you now, suit. So, when did you do the doors? From the age of twenty-one. When did, right. you, when did you first get encouraged to do art, or did anyone ever encourage you to do art? Or Only not? me, me teacher in primary school. That was it, and I'm still in yeah. touch with her now. Like she, every now and again, oh, really, once yeah. a couple of years, she'll come and see me because she lives in Jersey. To paint her uh, naked. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, yeah. she got any nudes from ten years ago? <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when I was 15, I left school and then that was it. I never drew, just never thought about it ever again. again. Yeah. I just went around the bend for years. Like literally, I started drinking and snorting from the age of like 16. Never, ever done anything again. Apart, I, d- I tried to do like a cartoon, to be a cart- uh, cartoonist for an anime or something, yeah. stuff yeah. like that. And he kept sending me work back saying that, um, what was the word he said? Grotesque. <laughs> Grotesque. Grotesque. Yeah, oh, he's So one of my cartoons was, it was, um, who, who part of the Red Sea? Moses, wasn't Moses, it? Yeah. yeah. So it was like, it was a little story, like four or five clips yeah. of that, and Moses part of the Red Sea. But then when it got to the flip side, it was just a big hard cock and it knocked the water open. <laughs> and he was fuming over it. And I was like, and he said, that's grotesque. I was like, that's funny, that. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> and after that, I just thought, I'm not doing it. I, yeah. just, I didn't carry on with the diploma. And then, because of the drinking drugs, like you'll hear me now, always sniffing yeah. up. <clears throat> um, I had to have two operations on my nose. And one of them, I was housebound for four weeks. And yeah. my wife's dad just went, he come round with like canvases, proper shitters, and just said, why don't you have a go at painting? Was that just from nowhere? So not yeah. like... I was good at art at school. He went, so I want to get back into that. It was just a case of, got to do something, something, just yeah. fucking do something. Like. And I mean, they were proper poor brushes, poor, yeah. everything mm. was shit, but I knocked a few paintings together. And then I stuck one of them on Facebook. Somebody said, can I so buy that? You said when you started drinking drugs, so you were 16. And then when did you stop? Are you still 27. on it? 27. Oh, so you did, oh, you did it to 27? Yeah. Right, okay. So it was, the, it was the surgery? that Was that like the last bit, was it? No, the surgery was after it finished. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was like... How long have you been with your beard then? 16 years. So I've been clean and sober now for 11 years. Yeah. She was... She seen me like in the the early madness wasn't mm. madness. It was like recreational, not yeah, like just going out and getting on. Yeah, it there was yeah. no commitments to a house or yeah. having a kid. Well, that's it. It's like the same with like people with money don't have drug problems because yeah. it's not a problem. Mm. Like it's, it's only it's it's only it's only an addiction when it starts becoming a problem. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it was yeah, it was it literally like. But once our daughter was born, she was then like. In fact, before that, she knew it was a problem anyway. But yeah. once the baby was born, it was like. You need to sort your shit out. Yeah. And I didn't. I carried on. Yeah. For I had another six months after. I can see that though. Because, like, because thinking like, it wasn't, wasn't thinking about you specifically, but like, so when you have a baby, mm. like, I know you, like, you don't know, like, but us three will know. And Simon's head fell off. Mine, I just went like, fuck. I, I, I think this year's been the hardest year of my life, sort of thing. And it's, it's not even that it's going, it's probably the most successful year of my life. 
But it's just having the baby. There's no distress that puts on you. I've got to win. I've got to provide and stuff like that. Yeah. You can see why people do go off the rails. Like, oh, you go one way or the other. Yeah, you can see why people do abandon kids. I'm not that I'm justified. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not that I'm just... It's not that I'm just... It's not that I'm just... It's not that I'm justifying it. But you can see where people's heads just fall off. Yeah, right. And I can see if, like... Say you've got sort of a drug problem that's, like, bouldering. And you'd have a kid. I can see the way it'll go just go... Bang, that's bang, away. Was it? Yeah, fucking, it was all f- proper, like, three grand on a weekend. Fuck like me. Oh, Jesus Where were you finding that money from? Well, I worked the doors, right. and, like, five, Robbing six people. nights a week. <laughs> yeah. I'd tax people while I was on the doors, yeah. I wouldn't be asked. Would um, you? Yeah, I'd give someone a slap and just take the limo off them. Yeah. Right, Okay. <laughs> So is that going? Is that into the three grand? So you go, and that was sixty no. quid worth. <laughs> or like, are you going? Like, I'm taking your lemon and your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then I, I was using loan sharks. I had fucking yeah. all those payday loans. I had them through the roof. Credit mm. card didn't pay me mortgage for three months. I lost my car. It was loads. Yeah. But then I had mates. See, now that just makes me think. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Do you know what uh, I mean? <laughs> he seems Fuck sad it, now. <laughs> So you lost everything. <laughs> I can yeah. ride the storm. So how old are you when you lost everything? 27. It was literally... Oh, so 27 was that age. That's that, the magic age, isn't it? 27. Yeah. Of when you kill, you, you yeah. die or you, yeah. you survive. It was, that was the year when, yeah, it's like started art, got sober, started art, and that's when everything kind of just went... Phew. Yeah. So did you think because you always wanted to be an artist, so when you weren't doing it, you were just... Did you feel like you were maybe miserable and you weren't enjoying life, but you weren't sure why or something? Because to I go always... from like sixteen to twenty seven, just being a bouncer doing da 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 da, to like what you are now, it's like a big switch in it. So it's like, what was your mind like in that bit when you were on the drugs and doing the doors and all that? A lot of it, I'd say, is like quite a blur because people Does go you feel about... different. Feel a different person now. Yeah, fucking hell, I'm much nicer now. I'm not a liar. <laughs> like I could fucking lie. Yeah. Just, just can't anybody. be on the pod if you're not a liar. Yeah, I'm, not a liar. <laughs> I'm still a fuck. I've got no drug problems. Yeah, yeah. I'm a good liar. I struggle. Like, if I do something wrong now, I can't, yeah. like, just sit on it. I've got to admit to it. And, like, yeah. Yeah. so part of the 12 steps is making amends to people that you've caused harm to. No. <coughs> one of my yeah. things now is, like, even if I've upset somebody and they were the main reason behind it, I'll still apologise. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm a very different person now than what I was back then. Yeah. You, you must still have it in you, though. Oh, I can be a cunt. I'm yeah, horrible yeah, yeah. as well. Like, <laughs> did you tell these like about your when you? Like, we, did you talk about that on the podcast about the twelve st- having to get in touch with everyone and like say sorry for shit like that? Yeah, and one of them was a police officer. Yeah, why? I had to apologize. Well, I didn't have to, but one of my amends was to a police officer. Yeah, it was um, fuck him. It come out of a nightclub <laughs> on a night out and I had a bit of trouble with the bouncers and then yeah. me and my brother ended up getting into a yeah. fight with them and then the police came over and. One of the busies wouldn't help me out, so as he was yeah. getting in the car, I had his arm and I just slammed his arm in the door and started <laughs> smashing it. He jumped out, yeah. started fighting with him. <clears throat> the other busy jumped out, started jumping in on me, but me bro- <laughs> I love this bit. My brother thought that I had the lemo on me. For anyone who doesn't understand what lemo is, it's cocaine. <laughs> so he thought, shit, ah, John's going to get arrested with cocaine here. So we ran over and just fucking volleyed one of the busy so that he got arrested. <laughs> He had it on him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so we had to what a yeah, fucking shambles that is. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the criminal record for class A. Yeah. Anyway, I was in court for about twelve months over it, and I was just denying it. I was like, I didn't do anything wrong. Well, yeah. I, admit, I shit myself because I thought Prove you, it. If I say yeah. yeah, I'm going with, like ask list to say. No said, cameras or anything back in the day, was there? The cameras there. I oh, was there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but he was scaffolding where it was. Yeah, perfect. And um, they were like twelve months for, for what you've done there. Yeah. Anyway, it was back and forth, and the judge in the end just went to me, listen, this has gone on too long, this now, you're free to go, it's done. Yeah. But it never sat right with me, because I knew that I caused all of that. Right. I thought, you know, years, you. Until years later, when I cleared my head, I thought, imagine what I put him and his family through for that 12 months. Why? Because he didn't do anything wrong, I fucking filled him in. So well, what, hold what, on. What happened? He was a busy. <laughs> so, what, so what happened? Something must have gone wrong in his life. Somewhere. Why was this, this? Why did it kick off again? It was to do with the bouncers. They, they so you weren't working. You weren't. No, you, sorry, no, I weren't. Right, working. okay. Right. I thought you were being a, a bouncer. Right, bouncer you're being a bouncer out. tried to tax him. And he went. I know right, what's right, going right, on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you were, you were just getting kicked out of a club. Yeah, yeah. And then you had it to do with the bouncers, and then the busies came, and then up. Right, so it was to do with right. Okay. Did you have to find him then? Did you find? I knew his name straight away. Yeah. Like yeah, fine. Taylor. Busy could, Taylor. I could remember his number back then. Taylor I the can't grass. remember it now. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was one night. So when I started in AA, in CA, and I was doing my 12 steps, yeah. 
you have of an item on the doors, you'll have um, like licensing police who come mm. around and like to check on the door lads and they're just basically yeah shitty abysses, I think. And um yeah, I, just, like I just called two of them over and I said, Listen, I've got a letter here for this police officer and I just want to admit everything that I've done. Yeah. And I want to apologise and like if he would forgive me, yeah, or I'm, whatever I have to do, I'll, I'm willing to go to that length for him to forgive me, kind of thing. And they were like, "Do you realise what you're doing here? You're admitting to a crime against a police officer." And I was like, "If I have to go to jail for it, then I have to because that's, yeah, yeah, that's the only way I can get that step." Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, give them the letter, and a few weeks later they come back and they just they went, "Listen, it's fine. Give me a little." And then ever ever since then, after that, whenever I was working on the doors, if anything <coughs> happened, yeah, they'd fly over to make sure. That everything was all right, and he'd look yeah. after the lads for us as well. So how long between you know that and into that? that? Yeah, well, he's they told me, yeah. But so he I, couldn't. Sorry. No well, how long did between <laughs> what happened to you giving the letter to him? Oh, he is probably say time heals all wounds. Yeah. I told you, you yeah, leave yeah, enough time. Yeah. Everything's like, how long? It must have been from when I was about eighteen. You so know, I, 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 I don't know if it's been over ten years. Yeah, it'd be less than that. Imagine if he was still a cunner, but he went fucking on it. Do you know what I mean? I'd have had to admit, Straight to the I'd judge. Yeah, 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 they yeah. told me. <laughs> yeah. So you've never spoke to him again? No. But they've told you they passed yeah, the letter yeah, yeah. on. But you've got no proof that they have. No. They might have just been that, might they? Yeah, just they've definitely just been. They might think, have. I think they've been. You've done your bit. Yeah. You? And like, I've, I've, I've been willing to go to any length that I possibly could yeah. to try and rectify so you, You've never it. seen him again or anything like that? No. That's a weird one. I wonder whether he, I wonder whether he get that all the time. Because I feel like if I was him, I'd, be, I'd go, listen, I want to go and meet you to go. Mm. Like yeah, move on, lad. Sound, or even a message or something like that. Yeah. But I wonder if they get shit like that all the time. Do you think? Yeah. I'm not fucking bothering. Yeah. With this. He might not have been asked in the slightest. Yeah, 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 he might yeah, not yeah. have gone through any problems. Yeah. But in your head, you just build everything up, don't you? Yeah. Does any of that ever come out in your heart then? Because I was, because this one thing I was thinking, like, because obviously, so we got three different comedians here with three different styles. My style is I will only talk about the things that happened to me. So, like, I, I'm very biographical. If that happens in my life, I think I own it. I have the authority <laughs> to speak on it. Simon's a bit more... You talk about everything, don't you? Like, everything, like... I'm just great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a great comedian, John. I can, tri- I can go in any lane. You want me to go in biographical, an opinion, <laughs> self deprecate yeah. I'll do whatever. <laughs> He's a bit more opinionated, talking about what, what, what might go on. Like, I don't know, what, what would you say your style is? Being? I don't know, just trying to make people laugh for now. Yeah. So, do you have any of that in your art sort of things? So like, where I, I have made a conscious decision to only ever talk about what, what has happened to me in my life. Because I think that's the only way. That's the way I know. One, I'm being original. And two, I quite like it as well. I think I, 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 I find it therapeutic. So if I'm doing like certain portraits... Have I you ever tried to draw that busy? No, but I don't even remember what he looks like now. Just a mangled arm on a canvas. <laughs> yeah, the fellow that's staring in the yeah. pie. <laughs> but no, like if, if it's a certain portrait that I'm doing, I like to know about the person as much as I can. Right. That's why I don't like doing family portraits because there's not much of a connection for me with them yeah but a post that I put on Twitter was yeah the other day was one of Robin Williams now I feel like I've got a good connection with Robin Williams like life wise no like yeah if he's gone through like people who've gone through depression and d- drug addiction and stuff mm. like that <coughs> then I have like an instant connection with them and I yeah. love to paint them because I feel like I can put like my emotion in with it, their yeah. emotions uh, so I've just done one of Amy Winehouse recently, which is not yeah. getting released for another couple of weeks. But again, I, I feel like I can heavily connect with her. What will you do before? So before doing Amy Winehouse, what like kind of would research and would you do documentaries? So did you watch the Amy one? I've yeah, seen I watched Amy one, one that called Reclaiming Amy the other day yeah. on uh, the BBC iPlayer, and it was literally I watched that and I just went, "To miss I've got to own paint her tomorrow now." Yeah. You, I just I had to paint her just, just to just get that emotion out there, yeah. mm. and do you know what? It's a fucking boss painting. As yeah. well. How long does it take <laughs> for one of your paintings? How long does it take you to? I can do them in a couple of days, two or three days. Right, because I use acrylic, so it dries yeah. pretty rapid, and I paint fast anyway. I'm not like a fine artist. I don't want me painting to look like a photograph. That's yeah, I don't yeah. like that. I like to see. But you could do that. Sh- no. You couldn't make it look like a photo. No. So he doesn't like it, just because uh, he can't do it. I don't know, no. <laughs> you can't make it look like it's real life. Uh, no, do you know what? I can't I've... trust this blurry <laughs> shit. Man. That's the bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't got the patience for it. It's like tattoo, right. and I, I haven't got the hands for it either. Yeah. I'm dead, like, rattly. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, no, I 
probably could. I don't think like, some of this re- hyper realism stuff is just right. another level. And I, I, I couldn't think of anything worse than to paint something for fifty or sixty hours. Yeah, man, yeah. it take hours, don't they? Yeah, it's crazy. You lose the oh. love, don't you? I imagine. Or um, portraits and stuff. Yeah, I like. So I've a new collection that's coming out in September. Is all based on rap artists. So. I just watched loads of documentaries on them all before yeah. the start. Of it. The first one was Kanye West. Big yeah. fan of him, aren't you? <laughs> no, I like well, Kanye. Well, let's point them out before we go into whatever the, I like the, the Kanye. new one I just is. don't like Yeezys. I think, Joe, I, I, I like them. Yeah, well, listen. We, Smig was in Yeezys on, on Thursday, so I like the way Smig. he looked. I like the way he looked. Yeah, okay. he had a, it, it was nice. Now, listen, you know, I, I live my life by a certain <laughs> set of rules. And yeah, I, I know. Just, this is the problem. You go and you go. You, we've you, had this you, on the, we you, had this on the Patreon. You've I've, just said that about your stand up. You, 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 you're in one lane. You need to be able to go no, into other lanes, mate. No, you need. No, you don't. You need to live your life by rules, otherwise you end up off the rails. Like you, you get. Are you on rails or lanes here? Well, like, <laughs> you on the train I'm or you driving? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on rails. He's all over the fucking lanes because <laughs> yeah. he's trying to drive. I'm watching documentary. I'm get on the beers <laughs> on the car because <laughs> he, he doesn't follow any rules. I just know I've got, I've got, I'm, I'm weird. Like my OCD is, is is weird in the sense that like even though it's not OCD, not like I I can't I can't wear trainees that aren't from trainees. So oh. you, you like. If if Nike can't Adidas, wear trainees, Nike are Adidas, trainees. Nike Adidas, Nike Adidas, Adidas, though, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, but they're not really hard. You just gone to yeah. Kanye, do whatever the fuck you want, yeah, and we'll yeah. sell it. And that's why you don't like. What what are you gonna do with them? You're not gonna go running in them, are you? Sort of thing. Like so, it's like. Yeah, he's just gone to Kanye. You, you could beat him in a race in them and you, you've got flip-flops on? Oh, uh, 10 yards. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> stopped out 10 yards. Off, <laughs> Fastest man alive over five. Um... But, but, so I can't so like Blenty Argus can't wear Blenty Argus can't no, wear yeah. Ralph Lauren like any, any like designer trainees mm. no yeah I get it I with the Blenty Argus I can't but I it. think some of the easy is quite see nice. I think you're just limiting but, your but life I, I don't care but that's just I'm just weird like, it's the same as like right when it comes to art is I think I can't buy prints what you want the original it's the original and then I can't afford the original yeah, yeah. so then I just don't have art in my life so you rob it yeah so like I can't afford the original so I don't have art in my life a lot would but I, wear, am weird, I wouldn't buy a print I honestly wouldn't buy a print would you wear like the designer Nike shoes you know like when like the, them fucking Travis Scott ones and all that come out and they're like depends though depends with the trainees or they'd have to be they'd have to be what the, what the purpose is for yeah right like, okay. or, like look like the, what the purpose right, is for right so I, I think couldn't, I, I couldn't wear would you wear a Nike Brogue, no, right, yeah, that's fine. I might <laughs> <laughs> so a like, Nike Brogue. So I've got, I've got, I've got weird rules. So that's what me thing with Yeezys. I can't because they're not straight. They're just yeah, can you? You go. And, yeah, right. Okay. Like, and it, so it's yeah. more of a branding thing than a. I don't know what it is, but it's like, like, it's like thing. I, buy, are... I buy all my jeans from Levi and stuff like that. Yeah. I think comfortable they're great. Sweeney. I mean, I've got Jordans coming out my ass, but the yeah. I put these on today purposely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he the said the other day, I, hate, I just hate Yeezys. Like I said to me, because these are meant to be me, me airport trainees. These want to go away. Yeah, yeah. Like trainees. I said, I'm putting can these I, on. How, how much are, are they? Can I ask? They were three fifty. Right. Okay. Are they on a resale though. Yeah. What Yeezys? does that mean? Because so, everyone I see, we've got Yeezys. So people, so, gets them on resale. So when, when they come out, thing, Yeezys cost two grand in no, my head. So when they come out, <laughs> they'll be like one twenty for a pair. But they sell out like that, and then people resell them for yeah. three fifty, five hundred pounds. So unless you get them on the first drop, you're going to yeah. be paying that price for them. So, so you can get them for a reasonable price. You just have to get you'd have them. You have to, to enter a raffle on a yeah, Jesus, yeah. and then if your if your number comes out or well, whatever it Jesus is, Christ. you can buy them. But yeah. still on them raffles, you still pay two twenty, two ten sometimes yeah, for sometimes, them. Yeah. So you pay full price for they them. They automatically yeah. then drop straight to a reseller, and then you're like, oh. And then so they what? Put it up for like how much is it? A Yeezy, that a brand new Yeezy that you want, um, could you pay two grand? Has, no. has Kanye got any shoe that costs two oh, grand? Know, There's a Nike that. shoe that you could pay about two grand for. for the, on the Sh- first drop? No, no. No, I think they're all usually like reasonably priced. Unless it's just because they're like so rare. Jones and that, and it, with Dior and they're like yeah, 20,000 yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But this I'm, is just I'm straight doing Nike series enough. at the minute, right, of Nike SB Dunks, and it's called the, uh, the City Series. I don't mm. know if you've seen them. One's got like a pigeon on it. Oh, what's do this? Oh, fucking when you say you're doing a series, are you of doing patents. <clears throat> of patents, right? Have you ever thought so, about doing anything different, like getting a load of S, like white SB dunks and just doing your own design? Paint them on them? shoes. I get, I'm too fucking clumsy. Right. Oh, but you could do your style paint, you know I mean? on shoes, though, couldn't you? Got a palette knife, it just fucking fall off. Yeah, you might cut the shoes well, to bits. These, <laughs> these trainees, right? That I'm painting. So these are uh, SB City City series, and it was my coach got me. He was like, just have a look at these. So. One pair of them now is going for two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Fucking hell! And the other three pairs around about eighty to a hundred thousand pounds each. Mm. Obviously, reset, reset, like 
So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When they've sold it's quarter them. Quarter of a million pound shoe. Right. Probably How many was, are made? I don't know. But they, they will be limited, but they were probably yeah. been about 120 to buy it originally. Yeah. Fuck. How and, long ago? How long ago? Well, within the last five or six years, months or something. <laughs> five <laughs> years, 120 quid, and it's now a quarter of a mil. Well, my yeah. coach owned two <sighs> of pairs and sold them for two and a half grand each, and then... No, that's like Bitcoin of the shoe world. Oh, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. So I'm doing anyway. I'm doing four original paintings on <coughs> each yeah. of them trainees. That's, that's what does me. I did most about me. the the trainers though, because you go, I could have got them for one hundred and twenty pounds, and now you'd like three. And if grand. these have got any value yeah. in them, <laughs> that's just what's so the annoying. originals? Yeah, but all I ate all that like to oh, do with gig tickets and that as well, innit? Like yeah. you, you you just tout loads of tickets and then right. sell them at a higher price. Yeah. You know, it's the same, just with shoes. Like. And half the time, the reseller's owned by the original seller. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking yeah. snide, man. Yeah, uh, the nails. When did you start paying your nails? <laughs> My daughter's 12. Might start doing that as well, what do you reckon? I've, 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 I've was, be, yeah. Must I like be them. about 11 years, so since my daughter was able Once to get the money to get out of bootle. To I'll be fair, though, nice. because you're quite hard-looking, lad, I think you get, you get away with a bit, bit, bit more than me. If I got sore with them on... Of Saturday night on the train home. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting fucking terrified, aren't I? Let's be honest. You just have to rock it with confidence. Yeah. As long as you rock it with yeah, confidence. Yeah, when I'm in the halfway house, Dean, aren't I, all the time? <laughs> I can't get out of it. Maybe just do one hand. Right. Anyway. I had a kid come over to me in my daughter's school and go, Why have you got your nails done? Why, why not? She went, you, That's gay. I was like, Your dad's gay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bum your dad. I'll bum your dad's head. Like, yeah. And that's, but I'm not asked. I'm like, so what if it's gay? Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with being gay? And they're like, Ugh. yeah. I I was in the drive through uh, the other day. I saw something shocking. Right. So um, there was a guy in like a, a, a gay fellow. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. First time I've ever yeah. seen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it was like midnight, and yeah. there was a it was like a seven seater sort of. It looked like your sort of taxi kind yeah. of car. And there's this fellow in the front, and he's got like his kid who's probably about six or seven. Yeah. In the front. And then. I'm just behind him, and then we go through, and he gets to the first window, and then all of a sudden, I just hear him giving so much shit to this this Mackey's worker, this young right. lad, and he's going, "You stupid fucking mong." He's like, "How much do you earn a, w- a week, oh, lad?" And then he God. goes, and then he turns to his kid, goes, "Hey, tell it, tell him, hey, girl, tell tell him how much daddy earns a week." And he's yeah. like, "I earn six or seven grand a week, lad. How much do you earn? Do you, oh, you should have been God. wiped on the curtain and all this." And you go, you should have been wiped on the curtain, you awesome. Harry Potter looking cunt. And he's saying all of this. It's pretty good midnight. Yeah. <laughs> so he's saying all of that. And then his daughter's like seven next to him. And I turned up at the, the, the drive and I went, what was all that about? And he was like, and then this kid, he was just shaking. He was just like, he was rolling a spliff in front of his six-year-old daughter. And he was just annoyed at him or something. So whether he said something. But I think what happened was, is he was waiting at the drive and he was knocking on the, the microphone. Right. And then he was like, can you just wait with me? I'm, I'm I'm speaking to another customer. And then he's come around. And then I don't know what happened there, but he was just giving him so much abuse. And I was just like, that was horrible. That and I said, are you local? And he's like, yeah. And I was, was going to give him a lift home. And I thought, nah. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, he was going like, he was rolling the split and I had the fucking bottle of Peroni off. <laughs> I was thinking like, get um, on your broomstick, yeah. like, see you later. Yeah, he's, like, ah, he's a scumbag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Two six sixties in the cup <laughs> <laughs> uh, But yeah, and I was just like shocked when I when yeah, I heard man. that. I, like, you should have just went in front of a seven year old. Car, it? it was in front of the kid. I was more shocked at the yeah. idea. It was because then that kid is obviously going to think that's up, an acceptable to way to talk yeah. to somebody like that. Yeah, and then it's just like it's all, it's all been passed down. No matter that's why because his his half is probably the same, and then stuff like that. And See, my half fella is like the most relaxed person you'll ever meet, and I am. You turned to a hothead? Yeah, I'm fucking psychotic. What was your mum like, though? Crazy? I was not actually, <laughs> my mum was hard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think there was, there was one time where something happened in the pub, and some fella cracked me half fella, and my mum got up, cracked the fella, cracked the other fella, and the two wives. Yeah. Like Marble. Yeah, so maybe. And then the half fella for not fighting back for himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I remember that. I, I, whenever I used to have a fight with, with kids in the street, I remember that's why, because I was more scared of my half fella mm. than them. I remember my half fella told me when I was when I was like growing up, if you ever come in this house and someone's hit you and you haven't hit them back, I'll hit your harder. <laughs> and I was, oh. So that's like that was it then. So just, so like, just fucking, just gone, <laughs> it's like anyone just anyone touch me to see bang. Yeah. Nah, my dad's gonna twat me. Yeah, it's mad that, isn't it? This is fucking weird. My uh, my mum and her sisters were like fucking like that as well. Always fucking ended up fighting and that. We, they lived in Fort Ventura and my auntie for a bit. And there was like some fucking 
I don't know who he was, but he ended up in fighting his wife, like hitting his wife in the street because they were bladdered. My auntie just ran out and just fucking volleyed them in the head and everything. <laughs> just used to fight with everyone, and I'd be like, and I, I've, I'm not really like a fighter, but my mum and her sisters and my dad was like fucking always going to match and yeah. show me how to make a weapon out of a match day program and everything. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't really. How, like how, how did you make a weapon out of a match day program? I can show you on here. I'll show you off off air if you what, want. What, 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 I'm just trying to think. Of. You know, Rob, you know how to do it. I'm. No, of them. Well, so you roll them up, fold them in half, yeah, and then you hold the two ends, you know, the f- the two f- uh, folded yeah. bits, yeah. and then where it's folded is like a fucking brick. Yeah, it's like Ooh. a mallet. And you just fucking swap people with it. <laughs> yeah, they're not really, they're not really long enough anymore, though. No, maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe they've shortened right. them for the. It does make a bit of a deadly. Uh, if you ever ever need a bit of a, yeah. a bit of a tool get on your lap, get a little, little newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, 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 always have Sitting a newspaper like, in the car. Yeah, like a certain fucking assassin, yeah. like he'll kill anyone with his program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, crazy. No, yeah. I've never been around anyone like that. You're, you're not been around violence. Have no, you? not really. No, shame, really. <laughs> That's why you're so obsessed have, with it. I think I could have benefited from it. Like, <laughs> do you do you train like bo- like any sort of MMA or anything? You know what? I dabbled in it years ago. Didn't really work out for me. I, just, I was never committed to. Were you a bouncer, anything. so you, did you not? I just liked fight. I could fight. Like yeah. I could just hit you I'm walking scrap, really yeah. hard. Did you ever have one where you hit someone and they were like fucking ready game and you're like, oh shit, this guy knows how to fight properly. So that's the scary thing. What I noticed mm-hmm. about like MMA gyms and that some of the people you look at them and go. I'd fucking yeah. batter you. I, I think I'd look yeah. like I'd batter you. And then you see them like training, you go, oh my God. I, I, I couldn't be asked being a doorman now because the skinniest kids would just tie it in. That's yeah. what I mean, yeah. yeah. Like if it, when I was on the door, I didn't even really know I could fight very well until I was in, like just in my 20s. Hard. Yeah. And then I knew how hard I could fucking yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. And that's about it. I just, if I hit you and you went out, great. If you didn't, I'm off. Because <laughs> I, think, um, I think the rise of like the UFC now, there's a lot more unassuming people that could probably kill you. But back then when MMA wasn't that popular, yeah, every, yeah, you could, it was either yeah. boxing or you just never did or it. Or you did yeah. judo in year yeah, three yeah. for like four weeks. You know what yeah. I mean? That was yeah, it. That so if you could box. Yeah. <laughs> but nowadays... But then also, you say like a kid who ties you up in jiu-jitsu... In a street, there's always bouncers in there. You get, you, you need to be able to fucking yeah, bang, don't you? Yeah, really, yeah. you can't pull a bat because his mate will just go, "You fucking gimp, stamp on your head," and yeah. then just to like. I was, I just look at it, people's ears, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not to bite them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant to bite like, them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you got cauliflower yeah. here, I'm like, fuck. That's not a lot of noses. You look a fucking eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See cauliflower here, man, like, because they're either sick of MMA knows. or they've just been playing rugby and that, and they probably are. Right. They've been playing rugby that yeah. many years, in it? So you're just like, nah, stay away from that fella there. <laughs> no, I, I was just like, I tried, I went back into boxing for a little bit because my daughter was fucking incredible at it. Like, right. so, like, Mick would be able to give her like a 15, 20 punch combo, and he'd show her it slow, and then she'd just be like, and she'd just yeah. reel it off. Right. And then I'm just there like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big big bombs. Bombs. Yeah. I, I liked it, but then it was too too much on my shoulders. Yeah. I was always, I was always yeah. getting injured. And then it's because you're just throwing haymakers for two hours yeah. straight. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to miss Arthur. It's yeah. a lovely yeah. feeling, though, when you're like, boom. But now, when you're in the body, body for a body shot, you think that. Oh, that's oh someone, with that. someone with that. Yeah. I've never like, I've never hit anyone. Definitely never knocked anyone out. But that's a mad feeling, isn't it? Just punching nice. someone and them just going out. Do you like knocking going, people out? Yeah, if, if you've hit someone, if you deserve it, it's like, whoa. And if they die, that's the thing, in it. Yeah, that's a risk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like he hadn't even... Yeah. Well, yeah, there is yeah, that, but like... That fuck I, I, actually, I don't think I've got the balls for it now. Like, I remember yeah. one of my last nights on the doors, I was on a uh, Victoria Street on Varbar, and a lad literally just stole it on me, and I was like, you little cunt, and I yeah. fucking legged, rubby tackles onto the floor, and I just had old them by the neck. Yeah. And he was just punching me like fuck, and I didn't hit him. And I just, I just kept hold of him. I was the corner of my eye. I thought I could see the police. It went. It was an ambulance. So I, I bricked it, thinking yeah. I'm gonna get nicked here if I hit him. Mm. So I just kept him like that. And then my mate just ran over and just fucking hoofed him in the face. Oh, <laughs> cleaned him out. Oh, <laughs> and then Rough I was that. like, whoa. And it was then that I thought... Like you were having an epiphany. You made just fucking volley <laughs> yeah. I'm better than this. <laughs> I can do more than this. I think Fuck I might become God. an artist. I <laughs> like, off from surprise. Oh, my he God. He fucking yeah. survived yeah, it. Yeah, bad. I hate seeing that. Them kicks on whoa. the floor, man. It's a rough, kick to it? the head is whoa. just... When the arms are down and you just know it's a fucking footy kick. Remember, oh, my God. I remember my mate was fighting and he had to come on with me for stopping it. But like he's fighting with this this lad, he, he punched him. The lad went down, 
And then he's punching him, but as he's punching him, the lad says it in the fucking Yeah, concrete. yeah, that's... Mm. So I just grabbed him in, got him off and said, nah, leave it. And he's like, what the fuck? Why are you getting involved in all that? the curve that'll like, kill him, innit? You, you fucking punching his head yeah. onto a fucking cave. Well, that's... What do you want? What, 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 what When does it stop? That's what it, innit? Like, a lot of the time when people get it once and, like, they die. You know, yeah. they got, like, they got the fucking care, sucker man. punches because their head fucking twats so on I the floor, since I quit the doors, so yeah. I must have been 27 when I stopped. And then... I hadn't had to fight for years and years and years because I just didn't want to do it anymore. Well, I was do you think when, happy. When mm. you when you like, so obviously as you change, do you think it was just because you weren't looking for it anymore? So because I've not had a fight since school, well, you've got no outlet. And I, for I, it, I don't yeah, and I've, but I've never, I've never as... looked for it since school. Like maybe in school, I, I had few too, not a few too many fights. I was scrapping all the time in school. But like when I come out of school and I was, and I was like, say you're happy. And then, like on a night out in town, I was never asked. Yeah. You know, some, but like I had to, I had to pull our kid, my little brother. I remember he, he was telling me about like he used to get he gets wound up. You'll knock into him in town. You didn't Why? fucking it's chocker. Exactly. People are gonna bump into you. You probably bumped into I was, I was into never, I was well. never asked, but he said no. She winds you up, winds you up. I'm like, I think, but I then agree. I've never been the fight. But then also, I think I think I've got like I, I call it. I've tried to make a joke about it, but I can't get it to work here. I call it grok privilege. I'm six foot two and twenty three stone. People just leave me alone. Mm. Yeah. I don't have to queue. I go, I just That's hilarious, that. <laughs> when like you're telling that story, alone, like. where you just stood at the front of the queue and you just go, you just stand there and everybody's like, excuse me, there's a queue here, you go, is there, yeah? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, I just don't have to, I don't have to, I don't have to queue, it's like, I don't like, it's, 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 it's me grok privilege, yeah. but then like say, no one really wants to fight me either, sort so of thing. But did you think you went looking for it? I think so, maybe, I just, it was I like an ego thing, so. It's a different, right. different because yeah. it was on the Lemox note and I had a fucking massive ego anyway. Back I think that was like your release though. You no, know, like now if it you ever get like emotional nice. or whatever, you go and paint for hours yeah, and that, you now. get it all out of your day. Then, re, as back there, you twat a about, yeah. Two years ago, I caught a burglar on our estate. Yeah. Oh, Smith was telling you about this. And this, oh, he has a motorbike helmet <laughs> on. Smith said to me, um, mm. just just be careful with Sam and with, 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 with John. I was like, why? He went... John can flip, and I was like, and you know what Sam gets like, and I was like, why do you guys? He twats somebody. But well, let John speak, speak, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> let John speak for a bit. This well, is John's bit. I now. really like the nails, by the way, John. Yeah. 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 Well, I caught him. I was got in my car, shot off, and he'd be, he was on a motorbike, mm. and he'd come off the bike, <coughs> and some fella had hold of him, and I ran over and I got him, and it was it. And I was like, you little cunt, but his visor yeah. was down. And I just in went, your street or in your house? Or just in our just street, just it was my street. next door neighbours he'd be right. trying to get into. Him, and I just went straight through the visor. Fuck and I just him. kept hitting him and hitting Jesus. him through the visor, battering yeah. him. Every shot went clean through. Just That's just him. eyes, that as yeah. well, isn't it? Brilliant. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, screaming. Yeah. Then I had his head. Because it was in the helmet, I thought, he'll survive. Yeah, he's going to be safe. <laughs> so I'm smashing his head on the floor for ages. <laughs> oh and he was just God. crying his eyes out. Yeah. Then I got his hands. Just dropping off a pizza. I, I folded it. Just in the wrong rob, address. The bike he was on, he'd robbed a, a pizza uh, bike. Is what he'd robbed. Right. So I got uh, his fingers and I just that. made him put a fist and I just went, you won't be needing these anymore, mate. Fuck off. And just stomped oh. on his hands. Just be kind, thing. everyone. Be kind. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's all cracked. He's got to come off yeah. the house. He went, mate, it's your time to go now. Go ahead, yeah. just go. So I got off. <clears throat> Either busy said that or someone said that. The fellas outside the house who would have done it. So we got in the house and my bed and my daughter were upstairs. They were crying because they did Had they seen it? They could hear the screeching right. from the fella down the street. Fucking dickhead. Did that so? I'd videoed it <laughs> and stuck it on the Facebook group. Oh, and you could hear me shouting, you don't need these, you little cunt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so we had to go round and say, so listen, Anyone want to buy any prints? Yeah. 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 But that was, and then my me, me wife sat me down. And have you apologised to that guy about fuck. it? <laughs> <laughs> my wife sat me down, she went, listen, I know you were trying to protect us and protect yeah. me, yeah. but she said, but he could have died there. Mm. And I was like, it is a yeah, I was like this. Yeah. Just, and I was like, So Shit. did you ever get to see his face? Nah. She don't even know. Like, Fucking hell, man. I would have loved to have seen, like, <clears throat> when he took the helmet off and all the rest of his face is fine. <laughs> he just nah, got fucking big purple eyes and that, like... There's not a hair out of place. <laughs> yeah. But his nose just got... <laughs> but, like, I, I'm, I thought you were going to eye-gouge him for a second during that story. No. You no, wouldn't do that. just punched his helmet no. a bit. No, he back. I'd have done anything. Have you ever eye-gouged anyone? I don't know. At what point are, are you... Um, Aware of yourself, I'd lost control at that. Yeah. I was yeah. literally, if his helmet went on, God knows what has happened. I think, yeah. but that was all, that was scary for me. That is, like, yeah. I was is a bit of a skinny there. rat. Is that because he was next to yours? <laughs> yeah, do you reckon if he was four hours down, you wouldn't have had it that bad? Still. Only because everyone on our estate will ring me. So, like, when we first moved in, there was loads of like people's cars getting done and people's houses. Yeah. 
but they were all shitbags. Mm, there's only yeah, me and my next door neighbour who do anything. And yeah. in the end, some fella coming threw a stone at me window one night, four hours down. Well, asked if he's watching. <laughs> and he went, John, someone's robbing someone's car down there. I'm going, fucking get him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, him. and it was me, I had to go out and chase this fucking fella. Yeah. See what you wouldn't you wouldn't ring the busies when that's happening. It's just nah, no, no, but I, I wouldn't. Right. Do that, yeah. I don't do nothing. Yeah. So what well, about I'm not a bad person, by the way. Like, <laughs> I am. This makes me <laughs> sound dead <laughs> aggressive. I'm not. So so did you ever get like a, a, just snide though? Like, in it, like it's when when that guy snide. booted that guy in the head. Yeah. Does that seem? Have you ever seen anything worse than that? Yeah. What's the worst thing you've seen violence-wise? Because to me, if I was well, there, if violence, I was there right? and I saw violence some kid's head just get fucking volleyed, I'd be like, ugh. Oh. When I was mm. working at St. Helens, one of the lads I was working with bit someone's ear off in front of us. I was just like, oh. Fully fuck, or just that bit? Top half of it. Yeah. Right that off. might have like, been my cousin. Why are you doing that? And it was just like, why the fuck have you just bit his ear off? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's mad, See, to it? me, I don't know whether that's worse than the booting in the head. I think the booting of the head is Some worse for me. Some serious trauma there, isn't it? Like getting booted I just in the think, head, I just think, just like the idea of, of him having no arms. I'd not even like it to boot in the head with that. In, in, yeah. in, in my full d- on, he was punching me in the face. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't have to reach to get. I had holes of him, and he's still punching me. Mm. It's hilarious that he was he punching you, and you were just me. going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than this yeah, now. Yeah. Just thinking about what I'm Imagine if it was the kid who got battered by the motorbike as well. You didn't know it. He's had a volley in the head of you, mate, and then he's got. He's. On for the attic next. Yeah, I find I, I find it mad that you you lost it. I can understand if you because it was next door and it was your house, but it was five doors down. You, you reckon you didn't react the same? If I'd got yeah, because a burglar for just me trying to keep bad as a nonce. away from the right. street. Really? There's types of people in the world who I don't like, and it's burglars and nonces. I think they both should be that's interesting. Put in the same category. Yeah. Like, wow. I think yeah. I think there's no place for somebody who would be. What? I what? Oh, someone's house. So yeah, if someone yeah. was like robbing from the shop and that, you know. No, no, asked. no. I was going to say, because I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm a teeny now, you know. Like, I mean, big and come to house. Once you've entered yeah. somebody's yeah, property, yeah, yeah. Snide, I think it, that's... Yeah. I, mine that's used to, I used to be dead relaxed about that. Like, I, like, my, like, my mates, like, used to skip me about it. But, like, I used to be, th- I used to think, if someone comes in the house, just fucking whatever. Duncan it's all Ferguson. Tall and short, I'm not arsed. Like, because the chances are, it's a smackhead sign their hands. So they're gonna fuck off quite quickly, yeah. or someone who's purposely come for, come for something, yeah. And in which case, let them get it and fuck off again. Yeah. Don't put yourself in harm's way. My, like it was having a baby changed that for me. Like I, honestly, I used to be like tall and short. I couldn't give a fuck. Whereas now it's like, well, if you enter my house, I can't be certain. You're a protective mode now. Yeah, I yeah. can't be certain yeah, what yeah. what your what, what your plans are. Yeah, yeah. I'll so still I'll pretend to be I'm... asleep, mate. <laughs> 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 I'm not afraid to admit it. I've got big balls. You act like that. I know you pretend to be passed out with a whiskey. Has <laughs> he <you> gone yet? <laughs> oh, <another one>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I used to not give a fuck, and now, now I'm, like, I'm like, if I don't come here, I was like, fucking kill Have you ever had anyone like, breaking in or trying to break in? Or when I lived in one house, we had, but I think the dog scared them what off. What's your point, John? <laughs> when I lived in one house. Yeah. No, when it were, the one house, it tried to get broken into, but we didn't have an alarm in, but the, we had a dog that managed. To, I think scared them away. Yeah. Um, but no, I've never had anything like, apart from that one time. <coughs> was someone knocked on the door? No, it was, it was around the back, and then right. they, they, I think they put the window through, but then the dog was right. barking because the dog like lived there. By the, so yeah. I think they got scared by that because it was quite. It, she was quite aggressive there. Yeah. No, no one's ever robbed ours. Someone come through the door for me, me mum and dad. Someone was living there for my dad's car. My dad had the seven series BMW seven series at the time. He yeah. pulled off his mate. And he, he got robbed. He got robbed to order. Someone come and robbed it to rob a lorry. Right. And then, um, but we got it back after. My house got yeah. done in witness years ago. Went so when like the the drug stuff was really yeah. life for me. And Jen kicked me out. And I went and moved back in my room for six months. <clears throat> and one night, one of the nights, I went back to the house to. I can't. I was going to get something. Or I think I might have been using the house to watch the footy or something like mm. that. And I walked in and I looked around. I thought, she's a scruffy twat here. <laughs> Everything was all over the place. This vase was yeah. all over the place. I was like, the fucking tramp. And as I sat down to watch the telly, I went, what the fuck, where she put the fucking telly? Oh. Where she put the telly? Uh, <laughs> and I realised it's been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> She's always fucking misplacing stuff in. Can't leave any around here. She has to fucking pick it up and move it. Imagine how long you can say you'll be in the house a whole week. <laughs> it took way too long for yeah. me to realise. Must be here somewhere. Then I went into the having kitchen. a wank on your phone yeah. instead of it. Hold on, what the fuck's the fuck? Please, 
it, David? I can't find fucking nothing. But then when it's the kitchen, keep on giving it. And the bottom of the back door has been boosted through. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And then it's horrible, isn't it? That oh, feeling someone's so been yeah. in you. In well, because there was footprints you feel in the lady's bedroom yeah. with where the yeah. cot was. There's yeah, footprints right. in there. And right. That, that, I think yeah. what it is also. Would you reckon it's the idea that they go, "What have they done in here?" And also, will I? Ne- you know, they they could have done something. They probably just gone here. Got the stuff. Your sanctuary's gone. Yeah, also your sanctuary's all things. Your place to just be like. I sleep now with like this. It's called like a cow. Cow skull crusher, like fucking big hell. all like that, and it comes to a slight little point at the end, and then the yeah. handle comes down. Yeah, it's from when I was in Kenya, they give me this like a, like a what did he call me? When I was in Kenya, some, mm. he said that like I've like, got like, one of them as well. So when anyone comes from my house, you get one of them in the head. <laughs> and I've got a gun, yeah. me, and I have it next to me bed now, and I've it. That cow skull crusher. It's what they used to just. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? I, I, I'm, I'm never that paranoid. I'm not like. Oh, I just want to make sure I've got something. Oh, good. no, no. But then I do panic, panic that's, thinking, that's what happens if I, like, my weapon? Yeah. What if they find it? me sleep? What right. if they get it? Birds with it? I yeah. <laughs> what, so, what, you think burglars and nonces are the same level? Yeah, yeah. If you bought burglar somebody's house, I would put you in the same category as a nonce. I do think it's the lowest. I think they both the low, need to like, be just enders. I don't, I don't think they're the same, but the lowest the low, like. It is, it is scummy, like, isn't it, Robin? I remember. I, I, I remember. Um, I, well, like, I've got. I've, I've got a scummy side of the family. And there's like there's one. Like I mean, my dad's like relatives. There's one of them that's just fucking scum. I remember someone got at me cab once and telling me that me like me. me I think he's still my youngest cousin or what was my youngest cousin at the time. I started robbing houses and you. Just, I just remember thinking, it's just fucking the worst. I know. You just I just think I've worst. been at like positions in my life where I've had absolutely nothing on my on yeah. the bones, mm. and I would never ever think. I'm not going to rob their house or somebody yeah. else has worked for. Yeah. 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 Horrible, You'd rob a shop first. Oh, yeah. You All go day. for the shit. Yeah. You rob the shops, but, but, but you would Tesco losing a fucking like tenor or whatever, it, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it never even entered my mind to consider. This is... Know. Considering what we just talked about the last 20 minutes, this is just coming... This is what I'm thinking now. Do you ever get a sense of um, imposter syndrome? Oh, having the having life that you've lived to now oh, be like an artist sort of thing. I mm. pin every day. This will sound that cheesy, but I wake up and I'm like, I am fucking blessed to be where I am now. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I get to paint. I don't feel like I work anymore. Like, I literally just yeah. feel... Like, my missus, I say, what days? She goes, it's fucking Saturday for you, isn't it? <laughs> every day I feel like yeah. it's a Saturday for me because I'm just painting every yeah. single day. And I have had, like, some fucking amazing things that have happened just in the art... The other week, I, I don't know what your thoughts are on Stephen Gray, but I had Stephen Gray phone me up for a chat. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you post that. Like, what like, the fuck? Just little things like that. We've managed to meet loads of great people. Yeah, his wife called you, didn't, didn't she? Yeah, yeah met yeah. a load of footy players and that as well. Haven't you? Yeah, I was in the sat off with Simicast the other week in his house and his yeah. missus. Yeah. Just these, and I, I walk. I'll often be sat there with Jen, and my wife, and my daughter, and I'll go. How mad's our life sometimes? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not fucking always hunky dory. <laughs> I mean, these sometimes when I am. Struggling, yeah. like people on the outside, but like he's fucking flying, but they don't know the half of it. So that'll be where your imposter <clears throat> syndrome and that comes in, and that that's what I'm saying. Like, do, you ever, do, you ever, do you ever get that to be like, hold on, I'm like, because like, we, you know, like, I'm just a fucking scally sort of thing. Why am I like, who am I to think I can paint? Or do like, when because loads of people get stuff like that. The fear with it is it's just all gonna go away like that, isn't it? It's yeah, like, it's like you'd be going, oh, I'm flying here, and but what if people just stop buying these? Some of it's, some of it's like, society thing, though, as well. You think, am I a good enough person to be doing to like, yeah, hold right. on, my life is going, so I'm doing something I love. Why am I, why me? Yeah, I'm not too am sure. I good enough to be doing that? So I don't know if you've ever watched The Secret or you listen to it, but I am quite I'm a aware of it, but I've never watched so it. I listen to The Secret probably more than music mm, at yeah. the minute, and I just now I'm at that point where this is like, I don't know, my son, I think it's daft, but I just believe like. It's gonna be perfect. I yeah, like the universe will look after me continuously. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like it's it's the whole yeah. like put, getting back what you put out in it, yeah. and if you're putting out like negative shit yeah, all the that's time, me, that. that's and you me. bring you just bring in you just bring in negative I'm, shit. I'm I'm convinced that my negative view on my career and everything is <laughs> stopping me from will, having a decent is, yeah, career. Will, though, yeah, but anyway, when did it start going well for you? When you because you started 27, wh- how long did it take before you now? And it where I you are using talking about lockdown. But, yeah, that to me, I know it was horrendous Benefits for a lot of people, a lot of but people I feel though. like, if anything, that created me who I am today. Yeah, it, right. It, it flipped a switch for us. I'm not without well, like names. So Paul Smith bought me Joker yeah. painting. That to me was a big, big turn of moments because right. I got a lot of like new followers on the back of him buying that. Mm. Maybe a little bit more because 
a belief in myself as well. Right. right. With him by because just like leveling for up me. as well, because you're like, oh, someone with a bit of uh, thing behind yeah. them's bought one. So I then... said to me, Bird, how funny is this? Me and you used to sit there in bed every night and we would watch, watch his videos, yeah. and the yeah. next thing he's buying a painting off me, and now we've become good so mates. Did he buy now. that before you you drew him or yeah. after you drew him? Oh, he, that was the first time I'd ever met him when I'd done that. Right. So you yeah. painted them afterwards. So, yeah, so yeah. What, how many years were you were you struggling or were you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, when, like, when did you sort of become full? Like, no, because obviously, yeah, at the start off, someone said you put on Facebook, yeah, yeah, went out buy that. So, when did that turn into okay? Well, I'll do more of them and sell them, or like, when did it turn into like a full time? Progressed over the years, like, it kept evolving and evolving. But 2019, I went over to Dubai to watch the world's ultimate strongman, and it was my wife. We were just sat there, and she went, fuck the job off. And I was like, really? What was you doing at the time then, doors or? I'd quit the doors then. I was just a civil servant working in an yeah. office, and she'd be like, You're like a cage gorilla. It's mm. not for you sitting in that <laughs> office. So, what age were you at that? Because you started at 2019. So. I can't do the maths, yes. How old are you now? I was 35, yeah. I'm, 30, yeah. No, right, I'm so 39 you, now. Right, so you're eight years in, yeah. and you were, you were doing the paintings, but you were still working a job, yeah, and you're yeah. eight years in, and then you went to Dubai, and then you how went. How much was your painting I'll at that fucking time? I'll this. 250, I was selling paintings for 200. No, but how much was your painting? Sorry, oh, I'd paint how much every day. How much of your time was taking up painting? If I was working in the office, I'd come home and I'd paint. There was not yeah. really a day when I don't paint. Right. Um, <clears throat> and that was it. It was taking up a lot of my weekend then, so I family time yeah. to try and sell paintings. But then when we were in Dubai, she said, just fucking do it. And I was like, do you think? And she went, jump, you're going to do this. You will make yeah. it. Mm. And her, her saying that to me, I was like, fuck it, let's do it. So I sent me a resignation and I never, ever went back. I think then, taking that, that, getting that fear, do you know that whole, like, I've quit my job. I have to make money from paintings now. Yeah. Like, otherwise, I've got to keep swimming. Otherwise, I'll drown. Yeah. Like, I yeah. think that's, sometimes it's such a good move for people to make, even though it could be, like, terrifying because you're like, I'm getting rid of all my job security here, yeah. but you're putting all your money on yourself then. Yeah. Do you fucking have to make it work yeah. then, innit? And Some it, people stay in a job, stay comfortable, yeah. and they never take that risk but and might never get to... I don't want to idolise it too much <laughs> in case people are watching thinking I should do that because... That's see, their decision to see, make though, innit? Yeah, like, you see people doing stand-up where you think, no, you should have... For every John job, Charles, yeah. there's 10 burglars you couldn't have gone with. I was just a failed artist, John. <laughs> Stop punching me, that. <laughs> I just want to look at your way. <laughs> well, so that happened in, two th- in November, two th- November 2019. Mm. Then the lockdown came in it within a few months. And I was mm. like, fuck, do I do it here? <coughs> I was like, shit, yeah, this yeah. is going to be trouble this for me now. And then I mentioned to you, didn't I, before, Rob? Yeah. Me and my daughter done online art classes for free. Every mm. Monday to Friday, I think it was like 10 till 12, we'd go on Instagram and Facebook Live. And we'd, just, we'd have two whiteboards. And I'd draw and she'd copy. And then people are back at home, good copy as well. Oh, that's boss. And yeah. we done that religiously. And my f- social media following went from something like two and a half thousand to eight thousand in about two weeks. Yeah. Oh, oh, that, yeah. up. We had, this is where we think. So, was you making a living off two and a half thousand followers? Yeah. So, how, how was you, how was you selling? I was, on two and a half now, aren't you? Yeah, I was just on like, you like commissions and stuff as well. Was yeah. 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 Uh, and I'd sell prints back then for like 25 quid. So, Prince. You still sell prints now, don't you? So we get back yeah. to the conversation. You, you sell them 50, don't you? Limited them to 50, Limited don't editions you? of 50, yes. And um, do you have any thoughts on, you know, we some of the reseller trainees and tickets mm. and stuff like that. Have you got any thoughts on that? Are you, like, Have you ever thought about what happens if my prints start getting resold for more than what I was well, selling for? happy for them. Right. Yeah. It's just as, long as, it, as long as they haven't done it in a snide way, so someone's went... Plans ahead, they can sell all fifty of my prints. So have you not have you not had it yet where you've dropped a, a print and they've all sold out straight away? Do yeah, you, so Liverpool ones always sell out completely. Right. So yeah. have you ever? Do you not think you've got a worry yet? Whereas people are just buying them for nefarious reasons, basically to make money on them. Not just yet, I don't think. But saying this, so one of my paintings that I sold for twelve nine five a year ago got revalued for six and a half thousand the other day. Yeah. And I said to the girl like. Well done. Sell yeah. that if you need to sell it. What makes it yeah. that money? What yeah. makes it go up in value so much? Fuck knows. This is no. what I don't understand. Yeah. The art world, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Was the girl who bought it twelve nine five good looking? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's, <laughs> why, <laughs> that's why I got me sold for yeah. six grand, mate. <laughs> Some fella was like, I'll buy your paint for six grand. <laughs> All right, come meet me here. <laughs> Only yeah. sells his paintings to tens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good market, no, it's a good market. So go on, so then go go back to your in the lockdown, you're doing the draw. And so we've done the online art classes, yeah. and obviously I went 
they were self-employed, so we were getting zero money in from my yeah. side. And you just left, so you had no accounts, did you? So Nothing. you were fucked. Yeah, couldn't get anything. And then all of a sudden, I think on one day we just sold four original paintings. I was like, yeah. Ooh, that's all right. That's mm, a fucking yeah, nice little gig for us. A bit, yeah. And I said, I asked one of them, "Where have you come across like my work?" And it was like, "Oh, my granddaughter was doing it on our, our classes, or yeah. my niece." And it was all, it was like that. It, 80% of reckon my sales all come from people connected to the online art classes. Yeah. The first week we had 27,000 people online with us. Wow. That's great. Why didn't I charge a quiz? A fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't need to do that. You could, you could do like a um, buy me a coffee thing. But I you? feel like me doing that is it's paid it back yeah. to you. Yeah. You've like, done that whole like quiz whole thing. thing. That's, your, that's your little secret thing. Like, well, that's yeah. it, isn't it? You give it and then yeah. you receive it back twice as big. Yeah. That's what the whole like a, the secret thing is as well. And like you give someone that and then you'll receive that. Back yeah. in a bigger form, so you giving them classes out for free, then it's come back as like, yeah. oh, we'll buy all these paintings. You're helping people through, yeah, yeah, man. So, so what, the pandemic hit. So you came. I want to go back a bit to when you had like two and a half thousand followers. So you know you're saying you're selling paintings for two fifty and stuff, and you're saying commissions. At that point in your life as an artist, a commissions a, a major income source, sort of thing. Yeah, they were a big so, income. So did you get like so as. So one of the things I was thinking about, like our our industry is different, but the same sort of thing. So as as comics, we we make, we make a, a we got us all to make a choice at some point. Stop gigging for free. Going like right, I don't do open spots anymore yeah. unless it's for a reason. I'm only I I'm a paid actor. You have to pay me to get my services, yeah. and then it's then right. Well, how much do a so then you you, you do all sort of gig fifty quid, eighty quid, hundred quid. Then you go no, that's my minimum fee now, yeah. and I don't leave the house unless I'm getting that. And then yeah. and then obviously as I go up in profile. I'm, you go right. Well, that's what it is, and I, I'm on this. Is my gig ticket value, sort of thing, stuff like that. As an artist, so do you have to go? Do you go right? Well, I'm commissioning. I want to get a. Do you want are you working to get away? So, like at the moment, what we're probably trying to do now, like Dean's probably a little bit early down the line than us. So you're working to get into clubs, yeah. And then when you get into clubs, I think me and Simon we're now thinking. Away, how do we get a tour? How do we get a, like a base to sell tickets off our own name? Yeah, to then go on tour. So as an artist at, at the start, when you're selling for two fifty, are you thinking right? Well, I'm doing commission work because now I'm a full time artist. And that's paying for me to do what I love. Are you then thinking, well, how do I sell my own? Yeah, how do I sell my own paintings and just do that yeah. rather than having to commission to do these things that I maybe I'm not in love with, sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. So I try now not to take on many commissions. Yeah. I, it's mad that I will knock some back. If I don't like the image, I'll just say, no, I don't like that. Yeah. Like, you're not going to, I could paint it and I'll charge you, but you're not going to get the best of me in it. Yeah. So I'll just say, no, I try not to do as many commissions now because I want to paint what I want to paint. Mm. And yeah. I want people to buy what you're at. Yeah. You're so are. it's similar to that. Um, <clears throat> so like, I, what kind of commissions was you getting when you first, or just portraits, people coming in? Yeah, a lot cool. of it was portrait work. And I didn't like doing a lot of portraits of people's kids and stuff because people, even though you're palette knife. Yeah. 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 Nah, people see kids right. very what do you mean they see some kids are ugly as fuck yeah you paint them as they are and they're kids, like my kids just look like that yeah you, you, <laughs> to be honest, i only ever had that once one, <laughs> one woman you think you've got a gossy eye no, it was a palette life slit this woman was like it was a pencil drawn that's done for that and she's yeah. like my daughter doesn't look like that and i was like she's just <laughs> yeah. that's it yeah. she's, like, she's not i was like it, it's it and in the end i just took it and answered yeah you know what you can have that for free love and she took it yeah, your kid's ugly as she fuck. There you go. I hate that she took it though. It's like, it doesn't look like my kid, but oh, it's free. I'll have it though. Yeah, but no, yeah, I, yeah. I would rather. So, like at the minute when I'm doing this collection of the trainees, yeah, that's what I want people to buy. The collection that I've got coming out in Dubai is the rap artists. Yeah, so that's just what I wanted. To There's paint. way less pressure on it in it because it's just like I yeah. enjoy doing this. Yeah. If you like it, you buy it. Yeah. But when you're drawing yeah. someone's kid, and then like you say you fucking give it back, and they go, "What's not like?" So like, a lot oh, of the wow. times now. Jen's my manager, so she's yeah. the buffer in between. She'll just say he's not doing family portraits anymore mm, or pet portraits. Yeah. Never doing them ever again in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I do get, I'm trying to think of some random fucking commissions. Like, I've had people ask me to paint ferry, like the Liverpool ferry and stuff. Yeah. If I get a commission like that, I'm all over it because mm. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Buildings, like the Liver Building and everything, yeah. all over that. Animals, nature, yeah. But family portraits, no. Just yeah. Doing them. So was there a point where you could where, where you could be like oh, actually I'm making enough money now? Uh, yeah. I, now I'm still all right to be able to say no, no, because we we have our limited edition prints and that can be like a nice earner for be out like you can yeah. wake up and you might have sold five prints while you're in bed. It's like Ooh. 
It's good yes, to have them as a fallback, though, the commissions and that, in it. You know, if yeah. you feel like, oh, I fucking need a bit extra, go, well, I'll take some on and then. You just know. find an email out or yeah. stick some yeah. people. I've got a space for one commission who wants a it. mailing yeah, list and, and that, yeah. see what comes in that, you want, yeah. that actually takes your fancy. So, so at the minute, I'm doing one for somebody over in America who's. She started off on TikTok. She's like, must be like 40, 50 million on TikTok. Oh. And she's 18 million on Instagram. Yeah. And I won't, she, they're not going to see this, but I'm not going to say it because yeah, she fine. doesn't know just yet. But this is like a massive patent for me. Mm. Yeah. A belt. So I've done there a free patent. Yeah, so I know what you mean. Yeah, because your daughter likes it, doesn't she? Yeah, so these yeah. two of them. Right. Um, the first one, look at that. It's a matter anyway. Avani, her name is. Um, if you, I can cut it out afterwards, don't worry, if you want me to cut it out. And um, I've done a free patent for her just to yeah. make the connection for my daughter because my daughter was obsessed with it. And yeah. she sent a load of gifts over for Emmy as a thank you. Yeah. So then. Year two years later, the mum messaged and commissioned me to do another painting of her. Right. For, um, oh, sick. For a birthday in October. Yeah, nice. Oh, this is a fucking big painting. It's like from the Met Gala or something like that. No way. Yeah, really, it's a yeah. huge painting for me to do. So it's like, I, I wanted to touch on that because you mentioned about free work before. So I've done free paintings. Like, yeah. I've given celebrities a painting for free. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'll charge one of you for whack for a painting. Mm. And it was yeah. my daughter. She said, Dad. Why are you giving these? Do you want a Wozniak, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a fucking Wozniak, you dickhead? <laughs> she said, "Why are you giving all these celebrities who've got loads of money free work, but you'll charge somebody like Diana Street?" Mm. And I was like, "Oh, fucking hell, mate! What a shout that is!" Yeah. So now it's like, if you want it, pay for it. Yeah, simple as that. Like people always give Paul shit, but you didn't pay for that. Or yeah, Adam bought the Salah painting the other week. Yeah. Somebody bought Bait. That was a freebie. I was like, it fucking wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. People just assume you get them for free. Giving them to people, though, is like a good mark. And no, because yeah. you do that in a lot mm. of stuff. Like, you know, in stand up, you're going to do a lot of gigs for free to, on the back yeah. to hopefully you get some paid work. Yeah. Like tattooing like, and that, you tattoo people for free yeah. when you're starting off. Or I used mm. to do portfolio pieces. Yeah, if yeah. I was wanting to get into a certain style, I'd do one for free and yeah. then go, look, I do these. And then people yeah. go, oh, they're sick. I'll have one of them. So it is like, I get what you mean, but... Well, the biggest example of that now in our industry is probably Smith. He's still doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Saturday, hot water. Anyone else on his level doesn't do weekend gigs anymore. Mm. But he's doing that because the videos that he gets from comparing is literally what built him. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, well, well, I'm not going to go away from what's, yeah, keeping yeah, yeah. Me, what's selling me tickets sort mm. of thing. Because like, in, in, in reality, the money he gets for them gigs doesn't really matter. But it's like you anymore. doing a free painting and giving it to fucking Mo Salad or whatever, it's just like someone paying for... Advertising, yeah, oh, yeah but your paying is it? your like that, time. I've got the Tyson like, Fury painting, yeah. and I want to get to him and his missus. Yeah, I'd give him it. Not that he hasn't got the money to pay for it, fucking yeah. hell, he has. But yeah. I know that me he's and, retired now, so as he do <laughs> But me and him with a painting, yeah, that for, I couldn't pay for that fucking yeah. publicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, so certain things like that, I would still. Do you ever it. fuck any of them up? <laughs> I go, oh bollocks. It like gets halfway through it and you go, oh, I don't want a Johnny Cash. Shank. It was probably one of the worst paintings I've ever done. <laughs> like you ever just wobbled a bit and got, oh, for fuck's sake. Is that why you have bl- them a bit a the bit best, That's the best thing about your <laughs> style, isn't it? Scrape across yeah, it. Yeah, you just go, ah, oh, well, that didn't work. But I'll still sell it. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about the style, isn't it? Like you were saying, yeah, about fine thing, art and that, if you make a little mistake, it's fucked. Again, same yeah, with my style as well. Yeah. You can't have it all pristine. <laughs> yeah. You can't afford new Yeezys every fucking day. So one scuff on it, I've got to go all fucking way. So I think, like, if you ever just get like halfway through and you just gone I've balls that up there's loads of paintings where I think I've fucked this mm. is that not I'll, part of the charm of the I'll original i in and I will be fuming and Jen's like oh shit yeah. and she's like sleep on it go back in some, and nine times out of ten I go back in the next day and I'll fucking nail it like can you correct it yeah, yeah. with acrylic I think you can definitely yeah, because right. once it's dry it's like just painting back over right or canvas okay. almost depending on the colour but mm. yeah most of the time you can get away with it should start doing some big art attacks Rich. In big actors, actually, don't remember them. Oh yeah, Neil Buchanan. <laughs> <laughs> Just do one of them. <laughs> so, like that Costas one, then. Mm-hmm. Have you done any where they've got in touch with you, or mm. say you do a celebrity? Could be any celebrity where they've got in touch with you, sort of thing, and gone, oh, I love that you've drawn that of me. Can I have it? Or have you always sort of reached out to them and gone, listen, I've drawn that sort of thing? Um, I think vast majority I've reached out. Like social media's yeah. posted it, and then they've got in touch that way. Well, that's what I mean, though. Like, if they got in touch and gone, actually, I, I would like that rather than you go and you want this to have drawn of you. In the thing. strongman world, most of the time, that that happens with a yeah. lot of the strongmen. Uh, like Eddie Orlo, yeah, 
I'd done three paintings of Eddie all at one point. Like each year, I kept doing another yeah. one for him. <coughs> but then he commissioned me to do a painting of him with Arnold Schwarzenegger when he pulled, I think it was four six five over in America, yeah. and that's part of his next documentary as well, where Arnie signing the painting. Oh, sick. so stuff like that. He's reached. They reach. They, they tend to come back, or I end up just mates with them as yeah, well. It's, yeah, it's yeah. mad. It's like some people in my phone. I'm like, fuck. Well, like, I used to wildlife. Go on, who's the who's the biggest? I'd probably say Stephen Graham. Stephen He's Hollywood, Graham, yeah. isn't he? Bigger than Eddie Hall. Not in size, Stephen definitely. Graham, yeah. Yeah. Well, bigger than Eddie Hall. Much, right? But for me, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Eddie? Yeah. He's Boston. You know, well, I didn't actually like from him that Stirk, much. When I first from met Stirk. Him, he was a little bit, I thought he was a little bit like arrogant, but mm, then yeah. I realised it was because he was just so focused on winning the world. Yeah. 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 That, that lift he so did for 501 when he almost died, that was impressive. Five. Was it 500, was it? Yeah. And then, oh, was it that? Four Thor did the fact, but it was fake, wasn't it? Did they have a box of match? No, it wasn't fake, that. No, but it was because it wasn't in the competition. Oh, that was yeah, the whole yeah. thing, wasn't it? So yeah. it was like people were going whether it's because that's where the beef stemmed from was that right. Thor did it in lockdown with his plates, his bar, everything. Right. No, and no, it wasn't. No. On his own team. It was, calib- yeah. was calibrated, though. So I, th- that was with the world's ultimate strongman. So I'm mates with the owner of that. Right. He's on that comp. And I, it was 100%. Everything was real. But there is always the argument because it wasn't in an arena. So what's your view fans. on it? I think he's fucking pulled it. He's pulled it. Simple as that. So you give it the thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's a cunt, though. I hate him. Right. <laughs> Can't stand him. You right. met him? Yeah. Just, just horrible, don't like him a lot. I know a lot of people don't like him. I quite he's like him. He's massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Eddie, Eddie is lovely. Did they have mm. a boxing match, them too? They were yeah, going to. It didn't go would, very well. It was meant to be jazz, wasn't it? Eddie got... Did they have it in the yeah, end? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, did, it did happen, yeah. Four, one, I thought they pulled it because All I remember seeing was pictures of Marge Simpson. Because cause someone kept, I think someone kept it was, throwing, oh, we'll put us from down here then. So the, the, the feed, the stream didn't work the first three rounds, so I only got the last three. And I thought Eddie had broke his arm, because he was literally like one arm here and just yeah. throwing this over. Yeah. And it wasn't. Just, just, the, just how his style. Yeah. And it was... Did he train for it then? Yeah, he trained a lot, but he didn't have any exhibition fights or anything the way right, he thought right. it. And it was just too... They're not boxers, are they? Yeah. No, simple as that. Too big dudes. I enjoyed yeah, watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then I've watched like a documentary after it with Eddie and I was fucking heartbroken for him. Right. It was, it was tough to see him. Really, yeah. Yeah, he broke down after that. Did he, yeah? Mm. I was the live show. Oh, it was sick, man. It was dead fun. <laughs> we, had the, we had the big strong man in. Uh, it was John Charles. Um, How did you get up on stage? Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no way. I just you should do, do it. Oh. I'd love to see what you try and produce in a minute. I couldn't. I d- I've you sh- could because you've talked on it. You got. You, you can't talk. Do you could do a speed painting? No, I meant to. I meant to paint. I didn't minute. mean. I didn't mean stand up. Oh, in a minute, like, stick yeah, man in it, Larry. Fuck, I just draw a cock. Stick think a Larry <laughs> can paint dicks, boss. Do think a Larry? You can we ask him about the live show again? Shite, boy. shite. Here we go. Right. <laughs> live show was good. Um, John was there. Uh, we tried to. We done. We had someone come down and for their minute they done speed bingo. So they just had loads of. Put loads of numbers out on the table, and I they were like, to "Speed Bingo. like drugs or something." No, 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 no. So was he not meant to be a comic? A, a com- no, he just comedian. he he he, he signed he up, funny. but he told me what he was going to do. Funny. So I was like, "Oh yeah, we'll do that." But can we keep the bingo thing so that through the night we could just so if anyone had mentioned something, say someone would go like, "Oh yeah, I went to the Albert Dock," and I go, "Did you say Albert Dock?" And they go, "Yeah," and I go, "That's Bingo." <laughs> you know, like, yeah. So what was Speed Bingo for a minute? Because he only had a minute, so he was going, number 23, you've won a bag of Maltesers, throwing <laughs> shit out at them oh, and that. Right. Um, you know. But we kept it up, so... Sound entertaining. We, we sort of kept it going. Bag of Maltesers is a bit of a he, win. He worked like, for the... <laughs> he worked a, well, he had a bottle of Di Serrano, that was all right one, um, but then yeah. some of them were sh- a bit shit, like Happy Spent a bit of money on it then. On VHS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but he worked for that, is it Bingo Loco? Right. And, and, and he, went, he went, I actually work for Bingo Loco, and everyone went, boo! <laughs> oh, yeah, we like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, you can't put shit I you. Said, He went, oh, they don't do uh, they don't do events in Liverpool anymore. And I went, yeah, because he's coming in and go, right, get out, you rats. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, I was like, I'm going to bell Johnny Bongo, and he's going to come here, and he's going to fight over it. Bingo and that. And, uh, <laughs> but then that was fun. But then we tried to mix it up, because we do like a £50 prize. We were mm. like, oh, we try and make it a bit more exciting now. Like, double your money for 100 quid. So we made it like a deal or no deal. Like right. you, you've won fifty, but you can gamble it for a hundred or something. Yeah. And uh, the something was just some Jag Elvis watch. Oh yeah. Which now John Charles is sporting because he felt bad Doesn't on the work winner. Anymore. Doesn't work. You felt bad on the winner, didn't you? Yeah. 
So it's like a proper end, like a fucking 20p machine, that thing, is it? Like where you twist know, it. Oh, you know, it says it. Elvis on the back. We got given it. Well, I thought John might have seen it and known the real will worth you, of it. And was like, well, buy it for 50 quid off you. Properly, like, that. Well, you keep that. I just need it to work, though. Have you done Elvis? No. A bit hacked, that, innit? No. I don't reckon. Is there anyone you, you haven't done yet, we think? You've got a connection with you, think I'm, I'm going to paint that? Wozniak, we've established. Oh, no, well, you're joking the first if time. If you just get a picture of you first time I met John, decent, I'll pay. It'd be boss if you done a big yeah. pod mural says, of all of I'll, us. First time I met John, I, I it was an original I, film. Didn't realise how, did how big he was, did I? What happened? Someone told me John Charles was in the photo. Ah, this would be funny. <laughs> Again, you think struggling art is going to be skinny rap. Yeah. So I go on stage, went, so I'm finally got fucking John Charles in the cunt. Fucking John Smith and Rowe, didn't he? They're on the fucking best uh, one in Liverpool. Yeah. I'm the big one. And then I look and he's like, that fucking massive one. Like, <laughs> Shit. He still went, I'll fight you for yeah. a painting. And I just thought, oh, Yeah, and I couldn't back down then. Still want to fight him now. He punches yeah. people's yeah. mouths. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'll keep you fucking painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking, I'll draw myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I remember saying it and then looking across and then John was on the stool. I was like, Fuck, he's bigger than I thought yeah. he was gonna be. I like thought he was gonna be a little artist. <laughs> well, at, at our live show last month, we had a lad, a fella, and because there was two winners, and we were like, "Oh, what should we do?" And he was like, "Oh, I'm sick of arm wrestling." He was like, yeah. "I reckon I could beat anyone here in arm wrestling." I went. <laughs> I don't know if you can, you know. And he was like, "Why are you seeing?" I was like, "Look at the size of him." <laughs> you see John's big silhouette in the thing. I was like, "You're not beating him in an arm wrestle. You can fuck off." Oh, I'll have to. I'll ask him when we fire down or when when you got when John's in next. Cause we made fires ninety percent burns, but it's so his, his skin grafts means his arm doesn't bend back much. Oh, so no. his his party trick is when he's beating anyone. Beating anyone arm So like we'll be in a pub and there'll be a, there'll be like fucking a, a juice head there, and you know he's just like and he'll just ah fucking sweat you and because because he's like he's dead he's dead small. Dead nice, and I sweat you and ask, and he goes, oh, I don't know, hundred quid. Then you go, fuck Yeah, I'll smash because he's tiny, like it's funny. He starts on me all the time because he just thinks it's dead funny. And I just fucking launch him, I just launch him across the room. And then, and then he said to me, I'm in RSL once, and I went, and I was like, How the fuck are you? Why aren't you? Could moving? you not break it though if you were strong enough? I'm, I'm sure you probably could, but yeah. no one has yet. That's what knocks like uh, uh, that's why I'd never arm wrestle people because I've seen too many videos mm. where they got just in the forearms just snap. snapping that. Not worth it just for a little arm wrestle in the program, it, it, hasn't, it? it hasn't happened yet, and he's had big fellas just go and fucking fume and like yeah. two hands trying he's to move. He's not as weak as you say he is. He's a li- he's he's a little bit. Yeah, he's stocky now. Yeah. Like, but like this has been a trick from day one, sort of thing. Right. His arm doesn't move. Yeah, but yeah. it's just funny watching like big, big lads just fucking fume. But his arm yeah. doesn't move, and he's laughing his head off. <laughs> you just wait for them to get just tired and go and then push yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you could be anywhere and they'd be winning 100 quids off big, big fellas for fucking. Give me another go, give me another go. Oh, Who's your funny. favourite artist? Van Gogh. Is it? Mm-hmm. A little tattoo on me, like, Yeah. Did you have one? Oh, Vinny Van Gogh? It's that's smaller than the I Love St. Helens tattoo. <laughs> yeah, in no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Van Gogh <laughs> and Jackson Pollock. <clears throat> right. Because Pollock's fucking. He could be considered a bit. For me, he could, could be. I like them, but they could be considered a bit. Mm, come on. Which one's the Jackson? I, like I know the, the name. I don't know. What I'd love to see your. Lines. I'd love to see your reaction lines. about Jackson Pollock if he wasn't here. <laughs> if he wasn't sat next to you, you'd be going, "He's fucking load of shit." I don't mind him. He's, uh, so, well, no, but, well, I'll, I'll say shite, but, but, like, <laughs> but like, I mean, you're not that great. Now you can't do a real life drama, mate. You know, like, but, no, but he's one of his cousins. Yeah. He, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He's all lines and shit, isn't he? Originally, though, he could paint. Right, okay, so, like so he's, he's got, got he's, he's proved himself. He's, yeah, yeah, he's earlier work. Right, okay. That's fantastic. what you wanted, wasn't it? Right. All right, then. You want to know how to do it, and then the bag yeah. of train tickets. I told like, you. Paint oh, the live yeah. drawing, yeah, yeah. like us like a photo, and do what you stick want. the train tickets on the wall. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy that for a yeah, million yeah, quid. Yeah. So what was he wants when you go into an exhibition? He just wants to be able to look through a quick catalogue go, yeah, right, yeah, sound cool. It's like doing new stuff, but you want to start with a, go- a joke that works. Yeah, so it's like you see right, some I know big he knows how to do comedy. That you're thinking yeah. this isn't banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were just new and no one knew you were, and it's mm. just the words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you've got <laughs> just a bag of show me, show me the killing stuff, <laughs> and I'll accept the silences in this bit because yeah. you just you're just on another level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm. That's all I'm saying. So no, I I liked him because of his. His, the way his life was as well around like drinking stuff how fucking yeah. Like, yeah and he was fucking and how he died he had a fucking traumatic life I don't know didn't he? About him. oh yeah he was a heavy no, drinker no, like an alcoholic yeah. and then he died in a car crash where's he from St. Helens Kirby Wyoming I think he's right. from um, where's that, got that. Somewhere in so did you know about before you got into art so did, 
did you get into art and then it consume you? Yeah. So that when you learned about Van Gogh and stuff yeah. like that, or do you know these people from school? And stuff I like? learned Van Gogh from the from school. Like I did a good Van Gogh no, painting. No, yeah. Like, yeah, I did a good one of the flowers. Like, oh, and nice. I did a good painting. I actually did a good drawing of Van Gogh. I think I did a good. You know that photo of him. Where he's sort of side on. Every one of them. self <laughs> 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 All right, fuck off. Hey, let's not get into this. Hey, you fucking pervert. 23 <laughs> women, I can't see, I see through you, mate. How could I possibly be a pervert? I've got nail paints on. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> no, but... Um, no, but like someone's relaxed and happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm like, I'm getting involved now. I'm, like, yeah. uh, I'm going to get cracked anyway. I don't know. Um, right, so... So, but Pollock, so how, how did he, that car crash? Yeah, yeah. And how old was he? Mm, don't know. Don't know. Right. So what is it about his ones that, you know, the, the, the lime ones I'm talking about? Do, yeah, do, the drips. I just, because have you tried I, to do it? It's so hard. No, none of us have tried to do it. Well, Dean has, obviously. To I try and to recreate his actual Pollock painting, I just think it's like near impossible. Really? Yeah. Right. yeah I've tried When you it, look at them, you do look like, it horrendous. does look like you could just go, I just throw paint But he was the, the first there. as well. He was the first one to do it, to paint mm. on the floor with so, drips. Nobody else has ever done it in the art world before. Right. He was the first. So when you say drip, was he the one that was on the string and he just pushed the no, car? No, no, no. He would just do that just on the floor yeah. and he'd just have like a big brush and he'd just dip it in the paint and he'd just make patterns with it almost. Yeah. And no one was doing that. Nobody so. else had ever done it before. Would him. it be considered potentially a little bit like doodling? <laughs> <laughs> just saying yeah, when you're on the yeah, phone yeah. and you're yeah. doing a little yeah. draw a little triangle and I'll extend that bit and there you go there you go throw a bit of fucking Crayola on that yeah. I'd love it. That's what you want you to do. Is it doodling? I want you to draw, John. I want you to draw that S that everyone used to do in school on your acrylic knife and just see if you can sell it. Yeah, a little bit of tag. Yeah. <laughs> so, so AAF underneath it. So, do you, would have you ever attempted to do something like that? Yeah, and it was awful. Really? Mm. I thought I'll, have it. I'll have it. I'll have it. I'll have it in my rooms. I'd love that. With something like that, is that does that? Have you then got to like to make that art? It would all come down to colour choice and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but I, as, you can't ever recreate it because you are just trying to be Jackson Pollock, aren't you? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He, never, he, he ever done it right. yeah, naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to recreate yeah. it, so it's never yeah. going to work. Yeah. So does anyone else you know draw the uh, paint with the palette knife? I don't know anybody else. No. Where did that come from for you? One of my mates who lives in Ireland, she sent me over a painting. What it was a digital painting of of the Hulk. Yeah. But it was done with a palette knife, and I think it was like a Japanese artist or something yeah. like that. And I was looking at it like, how oh, the fuck's he done that? Then I realised it was digital. Yeah. Then I realised he's done like used a digital palette knife to do mm. this painting. Right. So I was like, well, have a go with I'll that. Try yeah. that one. Bob Ross. Paint. Bob Ross uses a palette knife a lot as well. Yeah, does he? So do his mountains and shit, man. Yeah. But like the, the full of the whole of my image will be yeah. palette knifed. Yeah. And I, I just I started doing it, and then I just loved it. Yeah, would you I ever go it? into a different one? You know, like he'll only ever do bag. Would you ever go? Outside of palette knife stuff. I did for the woman's well, collection. The I did brush, just brushes. Yeah. Right. Um, but no, and then this trainee's one that I was doing, I started just with brushes, and then I was like, mm, it's not me, that. And I've palette knifed it. And even this collection that I've got going over to Dubai, that was starting off with, um, it was on wooden panels. Yeah. And it was on, so, like, the face is all, like, monochrome, like, black, white, and grey, with, like, a fluorescent pink in there as well. So I'd done the brushwork for all the monochrome colour, and then palette knife the pink bit on. Yeah, and I finished it, and I was like, "It's a boss painting, but it doesn't look like mine." Like for you to look at it and be like, "Yeah, that's a John Charles." Yeah. It just weren't working, mm. so I then went back to me normal, which was on canvas, and I palette knifed all six of them on there, and they look fucking mm. incredible. It's just a different uh, what s stuff like that. What were you? What have you done then with that wooden one? We'll have the ones you got two. I will. I'd be proud to have. The, the a John Charles fuck yeah. up, yeah. a John Charles In fuck fact, up. I'd love that more than Peyton yeah. Us. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd like half yeah. done. You don't know, you don't Smith. He gives fuck ups to yeah. the other one. Yeah. The barcode's still on the yeah. canvas. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't take it off. I like Ice Cube. I'll have I'll have anything, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything so, that you've got on that shite. Yeah. Like that joke <laughs> shit, you can have it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I love both the Peytons. Yeah. Um, one of my mates who's a massive Kanye West fan. I said to him the other day, "You can just fucking have this." Because yeah. for me, it was like a prototype. It was mm, a practice right. piece of the way I've looked at yeah. it now. Um, but there was an ice cube as well that I'd done the same. Yeah. And that's when then I decided, now nah, this needs to be back on the canvas so I can fully pan it. Right. Yeah. right. You still have ice cube who's once. Yeah. Yeah, we will. These are the ice men, aren't you? So yeah. kind of yeah, works out. Cool. Well, just, yeah, just have yeah. you dropped the ice men thing now? 
No, no, we still, yeah, still do the ice man, you know. Still the gorilla podcast on the game. Yeah. Yeah. Not fucking like you, like a proper show. Fuck off. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> no, not really a proper yeah, show. We had a man pull a card out of his foreskin the other day. That's <laughs> not really going to be on the telly. That's, that's, quite, that's, that's quite horny. That like. <laughs> yeah, have you ever horny. thought about trying to draw with anything else besides the pallet knife? Then someone like, tried not to just get me to use a credit card because the cocaine use. <laughs> Just didn't work. I couldn't. You're going to bring out your own range of palette knives. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good move, that. Yeah, that's good yeah. merch. That like, yeah, man. You ever tried to design your own palette knife sort of thing? No. You could do that. I've used others. Like, I don't even know what the brand is that I use. It's got a grey handle, and I always have to go back to that one. Yeah, I can't use any others. Just where'd you get it from? Ah, discount. I just ordered it off them. Yeah, you best find out just in case they ever go bust or anything. John Charles is finished. Why? Couldn't find a pallet knife. Yeah. So he fucked it off. Because I've tried some of them. He's back on the gear now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a gear off shit pallet knives. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chopping it up with his pallet knives now. Well, that's where people always try and relate me golden lines back to. Right. I always like to say, is yeah. it, are you doing lines because of the cocaine use yeah. and stuff like that? And I'm right. like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> don't know where it started. So then Van Gogh, why, why, so why is it you like him? I love how th- the way he paints, thick, colourful. Right. And I love his dark and moody life as well. Right, so... Do so you think you link more to an artist, artist than you do with the artwork? Some, some of them. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't paint like either of them. Yeah. I paint th- maybe thick the way Van Gogh He does. killed himself? Mm-hmm. Hung himself. Yeah. How old was he when he was? Thirty seven. Was he, yeah? I planned on killing myself when I was thirty seven for that point. Really? Genuinely like yeah. I just to be like got to a point where yeah. I thought I'm thinking eighty me. I was thinking <laughs> kill yourself my daughter and my wife. I was like, if I kill myself, <laughs> they might make a load more money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life insurance and that. Then I got to thirty seven. <laughs> I was like, I'm kind of enjoying my life now, so yeah. I might just <laughs> I now. often think that I think you need to be fucked up to be great. You know that whole yeah. thing that you've got yeah. to be, and you go like to Pressure I'm not fucked. Diamonds. I'm not fucking my life yeah. up enough here to be considered one of the greats. Yeah. And you know yeah, that thing yeah, that yeah, fucks yeah. you like going, who's <laughs> like Robin Williams, for example? Kill, like, do you know what I mean? Everyone yeah. everyone that seems to be great, like really uh, like on a pedestal in, in any industry or artist like, and like that always seems to be fucked up a bit. And you're thinking, I need to, I need, I know, I'm doing this I'd wine on a tube. Drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm drinking Pinot Grigio <laughs> on a fucking PP4 call at two in the morning. Because this is what fucking Van Gogh put us up. <laughs> you can't nick me, officer. I'm just Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a great. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. I, you remember me. You remember me. Trust yeah. me. I want to make sure I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a millionaire artist while I'm alive. That's right. like that's my goal. Mm. I'm not going to settle for anything less. And I appreciate you've gone. Fin- you've gone financial as well. None of this. Oh, I must in it for the fucking love of <laughs> I it. Love, I want. Yeah, to I love it. But yeah. if people are going to pay for it, then yeah, yeah. yeah man, you want to make as most much as possible in it. Well, yeah. I, I want to make sure I'm the first you know millionaire that? in my family and I make it from my heart. But you know that you're you're involved with Van Gogh and like Pollock and you love them for them mm-hmm. because of their fucked up lives. Yeah. So like, like you need a fucked up life as I've well, don't you? Fucked up life, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Punch the man right, to well, head to get in a motorbike helmet. Mm. So I've had a documentary brought out in January mm. about the, my drink and drug use yeah. and recovery and stuff like that. Yeah. So like I try now to use as much as my past as I can. I don't always harp on about it. Yeah. Because it, it is me past, but I'll tell the story again in hope that I can help somebody else out mm. there. That's the only time that I tend Sorry, to talk more about it. Last question before we finish, and this is just going away. You know the way you said you used to tattoo and people come in with ashes? Yeah. And so you put it in the ink and yeah, tattoo yeah, yeah. it on me. Ooh. Have you ever thought about doing anything like that? Like putting, <laughs> well, I don't want to say, someone else buying a load of beak for you and mixing it in with the paint Ooh. and putting it in the paint and sort of thing. And like, I, I, I haven't, so like, you is that not then illegal? Cocaine's expensive now, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, well yeah. you put the price up because you're like, well, there's a gram of fucking coke in that. But have you ever thought about doing anything like that? Or like, has anyone ever come to you going, well, yeah, there's me nan's ashes. Can you not do a, a portrait of me nan, but idea. can you put me nan on a patent sort of thing? I think that'd be better than, yeah, draw me nan. Yeah, there's me nan's ashes. Yeah, then you just bin the ashes and do the normal painting thing. Yeah, you the could do, like, but that's Didn't what he used to do, he used to bin the ashes. Didn't you yeah. know an artist who done something with a painting with jizz? <laughs> Jeez. Naked man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you was it an story about um, an Some artist fella from Kent shot wanked on the paint by That's not an yeah. artist, that's Amy, it's me bed. Oh, <laughs> that's just that what we do, remember <laughs> that? Jackson Bollock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Weird play. Uh, yeah, something, I can't, like, off, can't remember the full story. He was talking about, like, he was he was doing his burger, like, he was getting a bit frisky. Yeah. And he was, like, having a bit of fun before he was getting back to work and that, and... 
decided to go finish off. <coughs> went all over the canvas, and he was just like, "Oh, it looks quite quite nice, though." Just I think he just put it in the girl's the... granddad that he just yeah. on. Put them to my oh yeah, he was doing a fucking like a so portrait for like a, a family portrait for right, for yeah. her, her granddad, and they were having a little fun time, and he jizzed on the painting of his missus granddad's <laughs> head. <laughs> That's bad. That he just it. carried on doing it. Yeah, just kept cracking on. I think. Right, okay. well, would you draw the line if someone went, "Hey, can you do a painting for me, beard? But can I can I jizz in the acrylic?" Ooh. No. You mix you mix it and I'll paint it. Like just buy me a new set of palette knives yeah. though, innit? Well, <laughs> use, yeah. use. Mm. Well, I'm 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 open for trying anything like that. I mean I, I don't know, I've touched on that. I'm an artist, me. But big cocaine, you're right, you're fine. You're fine. I don't know whether you, you need to rough your jizz in it, mate. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I mean yeah, hey, I like the idea that you're you open to it. Can I jizz in it? Just don't mind it. Just don't tell him. Have you seen that girl who's got her own an OnlyFans and she just paints in her underwear? But she, but she just paints fannies and people pay her. Just that's just all she fannies. does. She just sits there yeah. painting fannies on canvas. When you're fit, you can get paid to do anything. Well, you look at bath water they're selling. Yeah. At Belle Delphine or whatever her name is. Yeah. Got a bath. Got in a bath. Fills up jars and selling them for like fucking five grand. That's men. Thousands. Fault, really, that men are mental. Like, Thousands. Yeah, men, are yeah. men are just mental. Like men are just fucking wrong and. It's crazy. Although the bath water, some people are drinking it. Some people are probably, I don't know, probably wanking with it or something. But, like, it's crazy. People are paying that. I think it dep- if, she, if she, like, rinsed it out for her arse and then she caught it in the water and then... S- but that'd you know be that? Well, no. I, why, do you, why do you know so much about the price and Because I've, se- I've seen it somewhere on YouTube it's somewhere of it in a bath. You, you got it on a resale, it that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's only about 100 quid. Um, that, the porn star we had on, he, he, he fucking put our... Card up his dick. Oh, he yeah. sold that to someone for a hundred quid. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, he's got like loads of like little subs and that that he fucking like. Um, one fellow wants them to like choke him with a sledgehammer handle and everything, and just see. Sometimes I just think I just don't. I just I think once you go into that bit, like I know your missus does some stuff like that. Does she? No, no, she, she stopped she, doing that now. She done it for like two weeks for like research on the on the book she was writing. The the whole and, and like, she was doing a lot of men. Hum, uh, humiliation Why and stuff my like that. Knew that. Yeah, yeah. Because I watched f- a uh, program on it the other day. She was sending videos of you and saying, make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there, was a, there was a girl talking to some fella online. She was just giving him abuse. Yeah. I want more money than that, you fucking So we used to do it on the podcast. Eight, I think it was eight grand or something. Mm. Eight, eight, eight thousand Well, people, people would message Amy and Amy would go, why are you talking to me? You haven't given me any money. And then they send her like a hundred pounds and she'd be like, yeah, nice one, you little ming. <laughs> yeah. Mad and love it. Well, I wouldn't. I, I got a message is, the other day. Someone asking me to humiliate them. Should we the message th- them now? But the thing is, though, I think with that, that is you're getting them in your oh, life. Yeah. Then, in a way, yeah, that kind of character. And you're, someone who's willing to pay someone three hundred quid to get well, called was, a Ming. You're thinking, all right, fair enough. That's a good bit of money. But you're also going, I don't really want. Well, and that's, then, that's, I'm, I'm in. I'm in contact with you. Then that's They're what in your life. Paul Smith, wasn't it? Some people were asking Lawley to do it. And he was like, yeah, do it fucking hell, get a bit of money. And then, like, he, she, she done it, and the lad went, oh, yeah, I'm, like, I'm loving this. And as soon as the lad was, like, getting off on it, he went, no, fucking stop that right yeah. now. It's the fantasy. Stop that right now. The fantasy and the reality. Yeah. You can't, you, you put yourself in anything, it's definitely <laughs> all right, but then when you're actually in it, you're going, I don't, there's just... There's nah. changing up a bit, yeah. Yeah, you go, no. Nah. Someone, someone called Michael from London has messaged me saying, wouldn't Shout mind Mike you from humiliating me. I haven't watched Mike. the message yet. Do you have me, Mike? And I'll yeah. watch. To me? I know, weird. No? I just think. I mean, I get a lot of men messaging me on my inbox on Instagram a lot. Yeah, saying what you mean? Just no, just sending me dick pictures of them wanking and stuff like that. Just paint me. I in always get the nails. Just men always. I yeah. never get a woman. Did they want painting though? No, <laughs> no. They just want to show me the dick, or do you want pictures of me? Oh. Yeah, I've nice. since the starters podcast. I've said send nudes to the pod account, and no one ever has. Oh, yeah. no dick pics or nothing. Not even a dick pic. Ah, no. They have. I just delete them after. I've <laughs> <seen> them. <laughs> I'm Straight in there. Message me, message me wife and ask for pictures of me because I really? refuse to give him any pictures. And he's messaging me wife because he's just getting a little slight picture of him. That's hilarious. You are quite. I wonder if she I has. See why they're know. doing that for you, though. Oh, yeah. I wonder if she she's got, got any sly ones. On. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Go. We need to call it now. Um, go on, John. Where can we? Where can we find you? What you got coming up? Uh, right. So my website is. Artistjohncharles.com. Yeah. Same for Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, and my next exhibition is going to be over in Dubai on the 29th of September called Modern Poets. Yeah. Based on six rap artists. After Why that, Dubai? 
Fancy's holiday. Well, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm going over first. I'm going over for a month and then yeah. the exhibition. So I'm going over there on my own to be like Van Gogh, just walking the streets, drawing. Right. And then my <laughs> wife and daughter are coming over to meet me on the 26th. And then I've got my exhibition on the 28th or the 29th. Sick. But then after right. that, I haven't got anything set in stone because we're waiting to see what comes of the Dubai one. It's, right. I'm the first international artist to ever exhibit in this venue. Yeah. So flying it should be a big event for me so i don't want to commit to anything after that i want yeah. to see what see what comes of it that, yeah um, oh, amazing sick but yeah limited edition prints original paintings all available on my website brilliant is right uh on instagram and that dean coglin underscore go check out the mild high club got live shows and that on our patreon we've got prints as well just start a little oh, etsy shop with some prints you bought one of i did yeah. and the our boss big well. samurai one yeah. um so go well, check them you out designed yourself yeah, it's just all that, all our own artwork. Sake, we've got prints. I haven't even put them up. <laughs> but we just thought we were, we were struggling for merch, and I was like, I've got loads of prints there ready to go. So yeah. we just market them as the merch. So we set up an Etsy shop, so they're available on there as well. Go have a look at that. But Gosh. yeah, man, just Instagram and Twitter and that. Give us a follow. Excellent. Buy tickets to the live show. Yeah, buy yeah, tickets man. to our live show, October 2nd. Dean's going to be there. Might never happen again. <laughs> it could be the end of it all. Uh, Sound to the Patreon. Nice one. Thanks very much, boys. Yeah, See you in a bit. Said that. No worries, man. Take it easy.